a funny story. I'm not gonna say who it was. What? But I know someone that like was like he he drives trucks for a living. Yeah. And he had to use the bathroom. Yeah. And he like couldn't he couldn't find a bathroom, so he went in the woods. Yeah. And pooped on a rock. It wasn't a rock. And the rock started moving. <laughs> He was a turtle. <laughs> he pooped on the turtle. <laughs> nah, taking a dump on a turtle is crazy. This is my dad. <laughs> this, is, this is recently? It was like a, about a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, Mr. Petty tweaked. Oh, he my God. on the turtle. <laughs> and he just, like, imagine you a and turtle. the turtle just... <laughs> You see, see. Mm-hmm. can we sing a different song? I, I just it was a countdown. That's why oh, I, I did that. You want to sing um the climb by Miley Cyrus? I don't know all the words. I, I know uh I gonna buy myself flowers. That is not Miley Cyrus. That is Miley Cyrus. Are you dumb? That's Miley Cyrus. I can hold my hand. Hold on, people. Talk to myself for hours. That's Miley Cyrus, bro. Yeah, make that I don't understand. YouTube, don't ban me right now. I can take myself dancing. Keep going, keep going. I can hold my hand. I can love me better than you can. Can love me better. I can love me better. Baby. Are you ready? And love. You gonna play a song? Heck yeah, I'm about to play the climb, bro. This is our intro song. You sh- you sure? Like, you know, like you don't want to hit that copy strike. Um, if you don't hear this right now, that means we got striked, and but they'll do the whole vid. Like, yeah, sure but like if you, if you're hearing, if you're listening to this right now, then we playing. The, if you're listening to the song, then we're good. But if not, then I just took it out because I'm scared. So, cut. So like. Did you also have a crush on Miley, Miley Cyrus? Cyrus growing up? No, no. I just like that song. I feel like that song... I said it on the podcast like like two podcasts ago. I think that's like mm-hmm. top 10 songs ever created. I I had a crush on Miley Cyrus and Selena Gomez. And I told this story in the pod before, but early. Mm-hmm. I, w- I had a, so much of a crush on Miley Cyrus. I used to lo- like Google Miley Cyrus nudes on my dad's laptop. <laughs> Think about this, though. Think about how bad that is. Molly Cyrus was a teenager. Yes. Like, not even, like, 18. Like, she was a 14-year-old. I was, like, 8. And I'm Googling Molly Cyrus titties <laughs> on my dad's <laughs> laptop. Did, did he ever find out? Yeah. He beat you up for that? No, nah, he just gave me the talk. He was like, but I didn't understand it during yeah, the time. Yeah, because you're wild. Yeah, I didn't understand why he was so. He wasn't even mad that I was looking up Miley Cyrus titties. It's just it's the on joke. His laptop. Wa- the joke was, I'm glad it's Miley Cyrus and not Justin Bieber. That was his joke. <laughs> it was just the fact that it was Miley Cyrus titties on wow. a thirty something year old's laptop. You know that's crazy. I remember you did tell me. You know what's actually even crazier because I seen Jason today. And he's not going to watch this, but I don't know if he's going to explain it on his pod, but he just told me a story that he almost got. <laughs> so freaking, he had a friend that I think he, was, he used to play like the WWE wrestling game with online and stuff. Mm-hmm. And I guess like, you know, you meet friends online and stuff. Yeah. So I guess his friend got uh, 30 years in prison for a child. Mm. And you know what? He, he And he used Jason's picture as a profile picture. To get the pictures from the little girls. Nah, that's that's, that's nasty work, bro. And the but he changed his name. It was Jason. It wasn't Jason Robs. It was Jason something else. That's nasty work, bro. He got in trouble for it. Who Jason? No, yeah. no, he didn't get in trouble. But he said he found out like like what the guy's friend said. Like, yo, is this you? And he would go to like like you know maybe I don't know maybe like Snapchat or something, and he'll like have this profile. Like it was a fake page, and he'll get like nah, that's od, bro. That's wild, bro. That's od. Free that guy. Nah, don't free that guy. No, don't free, free Jason. that guy. Free Jason. Don't free that. Which no, one? He... Oh, uh, his one turned off. All right, people. Yep. Uh, I'm sorry, but you know technical difficulties. Corey's right. camera turned off, so we'll be right back. Twelve seconds later, we're back. Okay. Sorry about that, people. Uh, more technical difficulties. I know it's been pretty bad the last couple of weeks, but you know, trust. You know, new technology is coming in. We're gonna invest in some more, some more things. And yeah, so let's just do the intro before everything goes left. First of all, shout out Libby in the background. Thank you again for watching the cameras. My favorite twelve year old. What the fuck? My is sister that? is eighteen. Corey is delusional. And if you haven't, the if, fuck was that sound? What? What are you hearing? What does that sound? You don't hear that? Oh, 
Okay. You creeping me? I'm like, what you mean? You ain't hear that, bro? But with the Clinton Road, man. I, mean, man. <laughs> I know I you got PTSD. I don't know. I don't know what came back with us, bro. Nah, bro. Adventure vlog coming soon. But welcome back to another episode of No Regis Podcast, episode number one forty three. Wrong. One forty seven. One thirty seven. Oh. Way wrong. Whoa! How the? Oh, lock man. in. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, comment. You know, all we ask is for a like. Nothing more, nothing less. And a subscribe. And a subscribe. Don't don't threaten them because threatening them doesn't work no more. So we're going to be nice I'm to the positivity. I'm not threatening nobody else. We're going to spread positivity. You know what I'm saying? I got Spread brother love. Shout out brother Lamar. Oh, I wasn't talking about brother Lamar. <laughs> Man. Uh, I was talking about P. Diddy. Let me stop. Let me stop. Yeah, me stop, he's crazy. Me stop, me stop, me stop. If you don't know already, got my co-host with me, KP, Corey in the building. Say it was good to people, Corey. It was good, my guys. It was good, my boys. It was good, my, my loves. It was good, my... Uh, you mean other don't don't forget the women. Uh, it was getting my 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 sweethearts. Okay, it was uh, that's my love. My that's oh my okay loves. okay okay. I think that's what you meant. And welcome back. Like I said, welcome back to another episode. If you and uh, oh follow the Patreon. We got a new episode on Patreon. There's a three part Patreon episode. Unless we talked about you on the podcast, don't don't follow the Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> we people that was spoke upon on that Patreon do not watch it. There's a lot of things talking about. <laughs> a lot of things that we can't see on YouTube is on that Patreon. We got UJ, Tyro, and Corey. So if y'all want to see more episodes like that where we talk a little bit more unhinged stuff, follow the Patreon. It was a good episode, too. Y'all should watch it, man. It's a three-part, three-hour episode. But I only dropped the first hour just so, you know, so y'all can get a little taste we'll of what's on the Patreon. Man. Then, you feel me, I can have the whole low later. What he said. So Patreon is linked in the bio. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to drop the second one once we get to... How many followers? We're only at seven followers right now. On, t- on Patreon? Yeah. How many you want? Tweet. 15. 15? Once we get 15 followers on Patreon, we'll drop the second one. But it's only going to be for our Patreon subscribers. And it's only $5 a month. You know what yeah, I'm saying? We got $5. $5 a month, people. If, if, you don't, if you don't have $5, Derek should give it to you. Exactly. You know, put your put your um cash up in the bottom, bro. I got y'all. And, um, oh... One last shout out. Shout out to, you know, we got sponsorship oh, yeah. today. Shout out Sir Nucci, Sir Nucci for sending us some nice graphic t-shirts, you know. Shout yeah, out to I got, them. I got more on the back, but I'm not getting up. But yeah. like, Sir Nucci, this shit hard, bro. Yeah. Sh- like this. Thank you for sponsoring today's podcast and, you know, a couple more episodes. We're going to talk about it a lot on the pod. UK-based brand. Great material. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, Great material. Don't make me look fat. Mm-hmm. Good fit. You know what I'm saying? Got good make designs. My shoulder, make my shoulders look big. Yes, sir. They got a new drop coming out soon, bro. Tune into them, Sir Nucci. Shout out to y'all, bro. But first, we're going to start off. There's a lot of breaking news going on in the world, mm. on the undercover world that we talk about. We're like the newscast for the underground world. So Kanye is starting his own corn site. <laughs> Did you hear about that? <laughs> no, I didn't hear about that. So Kanye is getting into the corn business, and I don't know where that is going. I'm not going to lie. I'm not watching Kanye get right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not watching Kanye. I heard it's like a whole site, bro. I'm not watching Kanye get right. Like he did, like his his Instagram got deleted and stuff. I don't know what's going on, but I heard he's getting into that realm of stuff. Unless it's, it's, unless it's, a, it's a tape with Kim K, I'm not watching it, bro. Dang, what if there is, bro? What if he leaks his own stuff? No, I'm watching it. <laughs> what if there's a subscription? Nah, I'm not paying for it. Okay, paying for porn is ridiculous. Like, no, y'all is crazy. Nah, it's it's free. Corn, bro. bro. Paying for corn, it's YouTube. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. Nah, I say be safe, anyway. be safe, be safe. So, yeah, painful corn is crazy. It's literally free. Go on Reddit. Like somebody posted it, bro. Like somebody paid for it. You don't have to pay for it. Or bro. don't watch it at all, kids. You know what I'm saying? Go get some actual women. Or you can use yeah. it as practice. What he said. Don't watch it. <laughs> and get get some get some big for it. <laughs> yo, I see. Yo, I was watching the video and they they showed me like they gave me numbers of like like addiction, like corn addiction, bro. This joke is wild. They said 35 percent of all internet downloads are corn. I don't download porn. <laughs> I don't download corn. So, like thirty five percent. I save. I save tabs though. I save. I save. I save links. You save. Like, I save links. You got it in your notes? Nah, I just put it in like my private browser. I can just have my. How many you got? Chill, chill. You want to see that, bro? I don't want to see it, but you you want to count? It's a lot, bro. Like I just be like, if it's a if it's a fire video, I just like save it. It's mm. like it's probably like. I don't watch all of them though. Like, I mean, okay, yeah, it's just on on a certain type of day you want to see a certain type of person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay, like, it's like hey, let me stop. Yeah, okay. I don't know. It's a lot. It's a lot. And then I seen twelve percent of websites are corn websites. Twelve percent of websites? What do you mean like of all like of all time? Yes. All websites is twelve percent is porn. 
Yes. That's tough. I need to find all 12%. <laughs> and then 70% of men visit them once a month. Which makes sense. I ain't gonna yeah. lie. It makes sense. It's, it's you know, I, you know, I realized, bro. I visit them once a day. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Maybe twice. I mean, honestly, you know, I feel like it's like a way of life. Now, you know, it's in the cycle for children. They're going to find their way. I mean, it was a way of life back then. Just instead of a website, you had to, like, do the most, get a, get a CD, hide it from your kids, put it on top of the shelf, have your kid find it by accident, then he starts watching it without them knowing. I know. That's what you did, huh? What, what you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> what you talking about, bro? You know what I used to do? I ain't going to lie. Mom, if you watch this, I didn't do nothing crazy. I was, like, four. I remember this is when I realized. At least you realize, like, you're not mook, though. Like, your son not move. Like, like imagine... Okay, you look at me crazy. But, like, imagine, right? So, I used to get... I remember I used to be at my Wawa's house. My Wawa and... What, Taga- is, what the hell is a Wawa? Wawa. <laughs> <laughs> so, in Tagalog, like, Filipino like Filipino language, uh-huh. like, grandmother is Lola. Lola. But I had a I had a lisp. So, so I said... said Wawa? Wawa. 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 Wait, you know what... Bala... 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 Yeah. You had it before? I never had it. My mom did. You had it before? No, no. You want you, you want to no, have it? No, that shit nasty. We we're we're Americanized. We don't. Oh, okay. That's like struggle food though. Like my mom's like that's like street food. Like it's actually like a delicacy over there. Like they just so what you do is it's like you know you you've seen it before. Yeah. So you crack it open, you drink the soup or whatever, and then you eat the little thing. Supposedly I heard it's good. I don't know. I I'm not I'm not trying it for myself. I heard it tastes like chicken. I mean it is I chicken. Want, I don't. It's, no, it's duck. Oh, it's a duck. Oh, I didn't know. I thought it was a chicken. But I don't know. But yeah, so I was at, I was at my wall's house, and I remember the mail used to come in at like around like 10, 10, 12, or 10, 11, 12. I remember some, they used to have like a swimsuit magazine, uh-huh. and I used to get the swimsuit magazine. I'm fucking doing it. And I used to and I used to go behind the the couch and just look through it, just look through it behind the couch. Yeah. I mean, I can't even say it. I used to wait till like four o'clock in the morning, <sighs> and go up there and grab it and look at it. Wait, what? Grab what? Like a magazine or like the tapes. I never watched the tapes, but I would look at the covers. How old were you? Four o'clock in the morning? I used to wake up for them. I used to or I'd just be up and I'd be like, wait for everybody to go to sleep. Then I'd be like, go up there and I'd look at them. Like, <laughs> I, like, but like, I wasn't watching it yet. I would like look at, I just look at the covers like, oh my God. It's like, cause it, the, <laughs> the back, the back would have the scenes, like, but like in pictures, the still pictures. Yeah. And I'm like, oh my God, this is the best. <laughs> oh, my, oh my God, this is great. And then, and then I used to stay up for, uh, HBO, uh, uh tell me softcore porn. <laughs> at HBO, uh, late at night. Oh man, was, have you have you been uh, real, uh peeping what's happening to like porn stars lately though? What? Like a lot of them are just croaking, bro. I seen that. Like a lot of them are dying, bro. I seen. Did did that one girl die? Nah, she didn't. Don't please don't don't wish that on Emily, bro. Uh, Praying for Emily, bro. <laughs> Praying for Emily. Oh, but man. she's in a she's in a vegetative coma. Really? Right what happened? She, I don't know, bro. And, and didn't some other one like off herself? Like two, I think two off themselves. One, I think all of them off themselves. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know. I don't. I don't really know. Like, no, the do, what do you think is going on? Maybe it's something in the industry. I think maybe something going on in the industry. Like they got like some secrets that they can't tell. They yeah, kind of going crazy. They, or like they try to like expose the secrets, and they're like, "Oh no, nah, you're not exposing nothing." Off. Or they probably like sign NDAs about stuff, and they're like, they want to say I think, something. I think like two of them off themselves, and one had an overdose. And then Emily Willis, she didn't have a over, she didn't do like overdose on drugs. She was recovering. Yeah. And she like, I don't know what happened. I really don't know what happened. That's crazy, I can't bro. Be. That's so crazy. That's, but but he, I check on her status every day because like, I really care about you. <laughs> <laughs> you helped you help me do a lot of stuff. Yo. Oh my gosh, bro. Yeah, Corey's a, he, he like. Oh, you're not ever gonna watch this. But yeah, Corey's, Corey's Hopefully she watches it. Hopefully she, she comes out of her vegetative. She's never coma. gonna go back to that industry again. Man. I don't care. I don't want her I want her I want her I don't care about her safety, bro. Oh, okay. I don't care ca- I don't care about her, her where she where her uh profession is. So you care about where she like where she goes in life from this. Like, no, no, I just want her to be alive. Okay, like, no, yeah, because you don't just, want no human being dying. Yeah, so I'm saying I don't like feel me, I don't want her to die. That's okay, it. that's good, that's good. I'm glad you're thinking like that, bro. I'm glad yeah. you're thinking like that. That's I haven't I haven't watched one of her videos since it happened, bro. Out of respect. Wow, that's real. So out of respect. I'm not even gonna say it. I'm not even gonna I'm not gonna say nothing. Let's 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 just keep going with what we're talking about. So yeah, now nah, I don't know. Maybe there's something going on in the industry. You never know. There's always there's especially there's a lot of weird stuff that is going on, like you know, little undercover stuff. 
I mean, every time one retires, they always start talking about like how how bad it's it so is. bad. I mean, think about it, like uh, like at the so how bad do you think it probably is? I mean, you probably just what? I mean, you did sign up for it. I remember there was a thing going on when we was like in like I remember I forgot what it was. It was like high school, and somebody people were like signing up to be like corn stars and stuff. Was it real? Yeah, like they went onto like the the website and like submitted an application. Oh no! They show they, they ask like what's your name? What what would your name be? Like your size and everything. There you go. It was weird. It was very weird. It was and it was posted on Instagram like it was cool. It's wild, bro. But hey, I don't you know. Did it? I swear I did it. What your name would be? I don't know. I don't know either. Yeah, <laughs> where <laughs> you go with this, bro? I, ain't I got know. no. I just wanted to know what you thought your name was gonna be. Uh, I think you look like a honey dip. Honey dip? Yeah, nah, that's, that sounds like a girl. <laughs> <laughs> or that sounds like a, a, I'm playing for another team. I don't want. I don't want to be honey dip. I don't want to be honey dip. I don't, you I don't, don't know, like the little honey dip, like Winnie the Pooh. Nah, 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 the little you're little not stick. cooking right now. You're not cooking. I'm letting you know that right now. You're not cooking. Lightning. Nah, nah, that might not be bad. <laughs> lightning. Lightning, just lightning. Yeah, lightning. I might just be my new persona, lightning. Lightning. Yeah. Because like you know, thunder. I feel like thunder is like more like a blue dark skin type of thing. I was saying that's a dark skin man. Yeah. Thunder, like lightning is like like bright light. Yeah. Yeah. That I might think... just be my whole new persona. I might just go by lightning from now on. Uh, see now, see I'm replacing. I'm not trying to say uh huh, and and the other shit. I was I forgot what the other one I was saying. Uh huh. Yeah. And yeah. So now I'm going like this, and I'm like, I got to just, the fuck is wrong with me? What's up, brothers? <laughs> hey, I hope Stretch is, I said Stretch Sketch. sketch. I, love, I love Sketch. I'm so glad he's doing good for himself, bro. Yeah. I'm so glad you know, he got here. Tuesday, Tuesday. Uh, special teams, special plays, special players. Dang, bro. I'm so glad he's he's going up in life, bro. But, uh, oh, so now, since we're talking about all that stuff, I got a quiz for Corey. We're going to start off with a quiz. We're going to have a... I remember before we did, we we both took the autism quiz, and we're on the spectrum. It's tough. Just a little bit. He was more than me, though. No, you were more than me. You sure? Yeah. You lying. But today, we're going to take a free online gender quiz mm. to see what type of gender Corey is. Because in the... You know, his first episode, he said he was a... What were I you? I was a non-binary tiger. So, let's see if he is a non-binary tiger. So... That I, I was. Yeah. He he got pressed for that, by the way. So yeah. sorry, Miss Cassie. So this quiz it consists of like, you know, strongly agree, disagree, neither agree nor disagree, agree and strongly agree. All right, I'm gonna ask you the questions and you just tell me. I thought we both would be taking it. No, you're just taking it. Cause you came late. Oh, okay. F- That's my punishment for coming late. It's yeah, my what gonna, is it called ability ability ritual? Yes. <laughs> humiliation ritual. <laughs> yep. This is yeah, we just signed up. No, let me not say that. All right, first question. I frequently stand up for myself. Yeah, I strongly no. I I I agree. It's like strongly agree and what else? Agree. I, I agree. Okay. I can sit. I am considerate of others' feelings. I agree. I am a natural leader. Neutral. I am known for my sense of humor. Strongly agree. I consider myself brave. Neutral. Neutral. I can sometimes be aloof or withdrawn. I don't know what that means. I don't know that. Disagree. Okay. <laughs> I, don't know I enjoy means. having a large circle of friends. Disagree. I am confident in my own abilities. Agree. I am very, I have a very logical mind. Strongly agree. I am a very creative person. Strongly agree. I sometimes feel that I am experiencing emotions. Disagree. I sometimes judge myself too harshly. Neutral. <laughs> I am generally an optimistic person. Neutral. <laughs> I am frequently frequently confused. <laughs> Neutral. <laughs> <laughs> My body is made of meat. What? That's not a question. You're <laughs> I lying. swear. My body is made of meat. Yes. <laughs> I mean, technically, yeah, I I, I agree. That you agree? Are we our bodies not made of meat and flesh? I mean, this joke. I agree. I just agree. <laughs> okay, that's a weird question. My body is made of metal. I strongly disagree. Okay, my body is made of bits. Of what? Bits. B I T S. I strongly disagree. My body is incorporeal or diffuse. I strongly disagree. Um. I have questioned my gender identity. Strongly disagree. 
Overall, my friends have more gender than I do. Strongly disagree. <laughs> I am all out of gender. Strongly disagree. Sometimes I look at myself in the mirror and wonder where my life went so wrong. <laughs> Strongly disagree. What the <laughs> hell? This is the pressure quiz or what's wrong with this? <laughs> I've been made to feel unwelcome due to my perceived or actual gender. Strongly disagree. <laughs> I am existential. I am an existential threat to organized human civilization due to my perceived <laughs> or actual agenda. What type of quiz is this? Strongly <laughs> disagree. My body is a prison that I will one day <laughs> transcend. <laughs> Strongly disagree. I've seen. I think thing- it's safe to say what's my what's my what my results gonna be. Hey, let's see. I've seen things you people wouldn't believe. No, I see things everybody sees. Strongly. Oh, I mean, besides the pigeons, but. You want to say disagree? No, no, strongly disagree. <laughs> I am not even. I'm. This isn't even my final form. Strongly disagree. This is clearly my final form. You're not gonna get better than this. I mean, like you talking about, like physically, like yeah. Mentally? This is not your final. Okay, form. okay, not neutral. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know who's gonna go up or down from here. <laughs> <laughs> that question could have swayed. <laughs> I'm not trapped in here with you. You're trapped in here with me. I don't think we're trapped at all. Neutral? No, I strongly disagree. Actually, <laughs> I am ages and undying. I'm ageless. Yeah. So like you feel wholesome. Oh shit. Strongly agree. I am unstoppable. I simply cannot be stopped. <laughs> Strongly agree. Yeah. So okay, what gender am I? What did it say? Your gender is the moon from Majora's mask. What the fuck is that? What is that? Nah, that's not what is that? Wait, ew. <laughs> this is what Corey's gender is. I don't know if y'all people can see. I'm gonna put it right here. That's crazy. What is that? I have no clue. Ew, what is that? <laughs> Your gender appro- approaches termina slowly before a seemingly inevitable impact on the final day. Some of the people of Clocktown flee in an attempt to escape the collision. Some do not believe it will fall, and others are resigned to the impending cataclysm. So it's saying I'm I'm I'm, a, I'm devil or something? I think it just says that you're just like a apocalyptic being. I don't think I, I don't think that my questions answered my, my answers warrant that. I'm not gonna lie, I think it's an unfair judgment. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where it came. I told you it said I was a cave system. Said I was as shallow as a cave. That's just, that was crazy. But I only answered one question though. I don't think that's a real gender. <laughs> it wasn't. I just seen that one question. I was like, "Yep, I want to see what he is." But that's yeah. crazy. So I got. Oh, I got a lot of things we also could talk about. I got some things we could talk about with sports. So now you know the NBA playoffs has mm-hmm. just started. Did LeBron, did LeBron lose Game Three? I have no clue. Did he? The Let's Knicks see. did. Dang, Joel yeah. Embiid killed us. Yeah, with Bell Parsley. Bell Parsley. Bell Fifty Parsley. ball. That's crazy. When y'all seen this? When y'all seeing this now? Oh man, Free Bron. He lost? Yeah, yeah that game's over. Dang. <laughs> Free Bron, um, freaking, the Knicks can't stop Joel and B. He's about to average like 40 this season, this freaking thing with a one knee and like parcels and thing. But I've seen something recently, mm-hmm. right? So, like, I talked about this before that history likes to repeat itself. In I sports. know exactly what you're talking about. You know what I'm talking I about? I know exactly. Go ahead. I know exactly what to say. So, it's about the Knicks, right? Yep. So I've seen things, people. I've seen things, and I've did my research, and I've seen some videos. But we are reliving the year 1994. It's just a whole nother cycle. And I got some a little bit of proof that the history Rangers. does pe- repeat itself. Yep. So in 1994, the New York Rangers were number one in the number one overall seed, and they won the Stanley Cup. Mm-hmm. This year, they're the number one overall seed, but the Stanley Cup just started. But I also got some more. In 1994, there was an earthquake in New York. In 2024, mm-hmm. there was an earthquake in New York. Mm-hmm. In 1994, the Detroit Pistons were one of the worst teams in the NBA. In 2004, the Detroit Pistons were one of the worst teams in the NBA. The Washington Commanders in 1994, or they were the Redskins, had 13 losses. They had 13 losses again this season. Yeah, in 2024, they had 13 losses. In 1994, that's when O.J. Simpson was going around in the Bronco. Oh, they say, yeah. And that he was all over the news. Now, in 2024... OJ Simpson died. died. Rest in peace, OJ Simpson. Rest in peace, the juice. You know what I'm saying? He was all over the news. And the biggest one is in 1994, the Knicks were in a number two seed. seed. Yep. And they made it to the NBA Finals. In 2024, what seed are we? The second seed. So free Julius Randle, bruh. Oh my gosh. Who knows? Who knows? I'm not going to, I'm not saying when y'all see this now, it might be what? Game what? Four? Game four. Game four might have passed or it might, might be playing five, today. actually, because you're going to post this Sunday. Yeah, because today's Thursday. No, no, they play Saturday. So game okay. four would have happened. So game four would have happened. So, you know what I'm saying? 
if the Knicks make it to the finals, we are we are going to New York City and we are going to vlog that whole thing. If the Knicks go to the finals, you will see no regulars over there with the prop table and the mics, and we are going to talk to fans. You hear that? We hear yeah, that right I now. Be, I might be in the game. I don't know what he's talking about. That's what I'm about. saying. <laughs> uh, maybe with the podcast money we're getting that we don't have, actually. Don't flag me, IRS. <laughs> But yeah, I just seen a lot of stuff like that. I'm like, yo, that's kind of wild how history yeah, really so does deep. repeat itself. It's really like I think I honestly think a lot of I don't know why everybody hates like people people be hating on Randall. Yeah, I think if we had Randall, we can have a, a strong chance to win it. Oh yeah, all. oh yeah. I'm not because you know why? It's because you know Brunson is taking a lot of shots. But you got to mm-hmm. remember, like you know, it's cool when like SGA takes all these shots, Luca, but they're also six six up. Yeah, so they like can six take, two, right? yeah, no, Brunson, yeah, Zick, no, he's like six, low key, he's like six one, bro, six two maybe, but it's like he got the biggest defender on him, so it's gonna yeah, be he hard. Got Oubre on him, yeah. So it's gonna be hard for him to make some tough shots like that, especially when he got a hand in his face. And the, with Julius Randle, it's gonna allow him not to take as many. He can take mm-hmm. a couple pull up jump shots. Or also, Julius Randle uh, allows the that bigger person not to. Key in on Brunson exactly because now they have to guard right, him. Guy, if you you want to guard Brunson, all right, I'm gonna kill whoever's guarding me. Mm-hmm. Now you got to guard me, and whoever guards Brunson, he's gonna kill him. Exactly, but it's it's always something, bro. But you know, I think it's it's all gonna work out though. It's all gonna work out. It's all gonna, God willingly, it's all gonna work out. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the Knicks, bro. If y'all want to be on the podcast, I know J- I know Jalen Brunson, Josh, how y'all got your own podcast? The roommates. You know what I'm saying? But hey, man, pull up to the pull up to the crib. It's pull all, up to the no regular studio. The, you know what I'm saying? But we've been, we, we've been diehard Knicks fans, bro. Exactly. And we Villanova fans, too. You even know. Exactly. I remember that shot. I remember exactly where I was when freaking... Eric, wait, what's his... No, no that's not... That was wasn't Eric Paso. It was the dude he looked... He reminded me of Draymond. I yeah, name. I forget his name, too. It's crazy. He had a big shot. We don't know what his name is. Then he hit the shot after... Uh, Marcus, after Marcus, Marcus Page hit that. Yep, uh-huh. I was, in, I was in Florida freaking because my sister wanted to go see uh, the... What was that dolphin name? Dolphin. Winter from Dolphin Tail. He died. No, no. You know, you ever watch one? one? Yeah, the one. Is, yeah, the the, the, dolphin, the so, dolphin's still alive. Nah, I think he croaked. But like mm-hmm. at the time, what year was that? That was like 2017, 18. Mm-hmm. No, no, 2016. What? Because I remember I was in high school. I remember we went down there and I was watching it in the hotel room, and he he hit that thing. I was like, wow. Did that stay winter? Do we see it? Yeah. And we got freaking stuck in there because it was like a tsunami outside, mm. and it was raining. I was just stuck stuck in there watching this little disabled dolphin. Was it worth? No, not for me. It was. I was so mad. I'm like, yo, why am I watching this? This mm-hmm. dolphin not doing no tricks. He just it was sw- broken, bro. How you gonna expect a, a broken dolphin to do tricks? I mean, dang, bro. You can't have other dolphins do some cool stuff. You can't have other animal attractions. Nah. Dang, just, bro. Just, just what's his name? Wilson. Winter. Winter. Winter and Hope. Mm-hmm. It was two dolphins that was disabled. Yeah, there's another one. I think he lost a tail. I think the one that lost the tail. What happened to Hope? Oh, so Hope was just lost. Man, I thought Hope had no tail too, bro. That's some BS. Hope wasn't even disabled, bro. That's crazy. You know how many dolphins are, are wandering the ocean right now that have no tail and struggling and Winter had the good life? That's crazy, probably bro. just died. Not even struggling. Oh, they just croaked? Yeah. I, have you, I seen this one video. It was like a freaking turtle. He was about to get eaten by a shark. And like, he was like, so the turtle was swimming. And like, the shark was like, like right here and it bit him. And he mm. had him in his mouth, but the turtle kept swimming. And he swam up to the boat. And the shark let go, and the guys picked the the turtle up and put him in the boat. It was a big yeah. turtle, it was like this big, and they they drove like a mile away in the other direction, and they dropped him off. And the shark was there. No, no, the shark wasn't there. But then the turtle came back, like the turtle swam off, and he came back with like a jellyfish to uh-huh. give to the people. I was like, thank you for saving my life. Well, that's tough. I know. I was like, that's so nice. Well, hear a funny story. I'm not gonna say who it was. What? But I know someone that like was like he he drives trucks for a living. Yeah. And he had to use the bathroom. Yeah. And he like couldn't he couldn't find a bathroom, so he went in the woods. Yeah. And pooped on a rock. It wasn't a rock. And the rock started moving. <laughs> it was a turtle. <laughs> he pooped on the turtle. <laughs> <laughs> nah, taking a dump on a turtle is crazy. This is my dad. <laughs> <laughs> this is recently. It was like a about a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, Mister Petty tweaked. Oh he my god, on the turtle. And he just like imagine you a and turtle. The turtle just <laughs> <laughs> with the poop on his back. Yeah, just dump on his back. Well, he got to find a river. <laughs> That's crazy. Imagine you a turtle. You just mind your business. You just got doodled on. He's like, yo, what the hell? 
<laughs> you look at them like, what's I that smell? I just found out too that like the turtle shell is like not like it's a part of their spine. Mm-hmm. It's like a bone. It's like a big yeah, bone. Yeah. So like, like you gotta wash your you gotta wash your back. <laughs> What do you mean? He had to watch like that's not his that's not his crib that's his back, bro. Yeah, that, his like back, that's bro. on him. Like his little yeah, that's his literally like he's not like they're not like snails. I know that's like he got to like ugh. Yeah, bro. Like, he can't be like he's not like a car wash. Like, you got you got to take a bath. Literally taking a shower. <laughs> that's disgusting, bro. Mister Pay, why you do that, bro? So what do you do? He like squatted. I don't. I didn't ask all that, bro. That's crazy work. <laughs> you ever, was, what was, was the like, worst place you ever used the bathroom? Number two. Whatever. I remember my mom picked me up from from Rutgers College. It yeah. was like I think winter break maybe. Like, mm-hmm. but like you know how we only got two days, like because we had to go back to practice. Yeah, bro, I had to go, bro. Like when we were like middle of the highway, I'm like ma, I'm sweating. I'm like <laughs> this was a bad one. I'm like ma, dump you, one or two. Number two, uh-huh. I'm like ma, if you don't pull over. I'm going in this car. <laughs> like, I don't care where we go right now. I would go in the middle of the street. I have to go right now. Yeah. So we found, like, we were, in the, we were in this park, and, like, like luckily, we pulled up next to a public bathroom. Really? And the door was, and it was snowing, too. That makes it worse. Luckily, the door was open. But, it the, oh, my God, the bathroom was so, cr- oh, my God. It smelled so bad. You it, still ev- did it? It was bad. Ev- everything was bad. Like, did you I, sit on the seat? Come on, bro. You think I'm not? Uh, hell no, I ain't sitting. No, I mean seat, you bro. could just get like you know toilet no, paper. Oh, no. you hovered? It, it was no, it was that bad. Toilet paper wasn't helping that, bro. Oh. I, I I bust down did a wall like a wall sit, bro. I squatted, <laughs> bro, and like like <laughs> it was it was bad. Oh, uh, how'd you wipe your butt? I had tissue, bro. My mom took some tissue out the car. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And then I wiped my butt. I'm like, yo, we out, bro. I like uh, as soon as I got to the crib, my mom was like, "No, take all your clothes off at the door and get in the shower right now." Bro. That's crazy. I don't know what infected you in that bathroom. <laughs> what, was it in Newark? Nah, we was in like at this point, we was in like somewhere in New York. Wow, Brooklyn. bro, See, I couldn't make it to the crib, bro. I think the worst. I mean, I didn't really do like that, nothing that memorable. At least I don't. I didn't never do to myself crazy like do anywhere outside of a bathroom that I remember. But I remember like like I used to walk home from the bus. And like you know, you like in your mind, you have like a time clock when you have to mm-hmm. use the bathroom. Like every time I walk into my crib, I always have to take a number two. No. A- every like every single time I walk in, like it's either me. It's like I have to no no, I have to pee. Uh-huh. I have to pee. So every time I walk in, I always got pee. But I remember I used to um, walk home from school in middle school, and I remember I was getting to my crib. And I had to really use the bathroom, and I couldn't find the keys. I'm like, dang! And I just peed on the side of my fence. I'm not gonna lie, I did that once too, but it's not because I didn't have the keys. So I had the I I got off the bus. Yeah. I'm walking to my crib in Brooklyn and I had to pee. So I'm like, all right, fuck it. I'm about to just pee in the side of this building. Yeah. When I went to whip it out, it was a construction uh, worker <laughs> staring at me and an old lady staring at me. I think you me. told me about this. And I just peed on myself <laughs> <laughs> because I was like, yeah, do I whip it out in front of this old lady and the construction worker or do I just like. So I just sat there and peed on myself, and, and like they both just watched me pee on myself. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just like took the walk of shame upstairs. And, well, at least you yeah. was already by your crib, bro. Oh yeah, I was right there, bro. I took a piss on myself in the boys and girls school. I think I talked about this before. My leg burned, bro. I couldn't find it. There was the, all the bathrooms were locked. That's that. I was just peeing on the floor. No, I felt like I was just like I'm I, saying that like I just pee on myself because <laughs> people was watching me. Like, I, how old were you? I was definitely in middle school. Yeah, my, I was like, mine was like fifth grade. I was thinking mine was like sixth or seventh. It's just, it just happens, bro. Like you got, like you got to realize, kids. You yeah. know, I, you know, some of y'all might be at those age. You know, I don't know how the y'all that's watching this, but you know, sometimes peeing yourself at that age, if there's no other option, you just gotta let it. You just gotta I was take midstream that out, though. Like that's my like. I was like, oh, like you held, like you, you yeah, sucked I, it back yeah, in. Yeah, I couldn't like I couldn't hold it no more. Like it mm. was like I already let it come out. Mm. Like if I just, if I would just went upstairs, I probably would have made it. But, but you was like, nah, I'm cool. Yeah, like I could, I could, I could, I really have to go. Yeah, I have to like, I'm gonna just go right here. Wow. And I, I didn't. I just crazy work, bro. My but, khakis. Oh, I'm khakis. And, and then I tried to like wash them before my mom got home. I didn't know how to do laundry though. Yeah. So like, I ended up bleaching my my clothes. So like, yeah, <laughs> it just was a bad, bad, bad. Oh, I think this isn't. It was just a bad day, bro. Yeah, but it was cool though. Like my mom wasn't that mad. Okay, okay. She just called me an idiot, probably. It'd be like that, you know. Mom's no best. My mom called me a bunch of words. Oh, speaking of mothers, happy birthday to my mom. Yeah, her birthday was yesterday. Happy birthday, Miss Corey. Corey. There we go. Happy That's birthday, Miss Corey. If you're watching this episode, thank you for raising this kid. I appreciate that, Doris. That sounded nice. <laughs> <laughs> no problem, brother. But 
Uh, oh, we can since we could talk about uh the top ten wrestlers of all time that the Bleacher Report came to out. Another section after saying happy birthday to my mom is crazy. Cause I know we we gotta get there still. I know. Yeah. Yeah. After the after happy birthday, mom. <laughs> I thought oh, you were oh, gonna be like, whoa, chill. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> So, do you want to go into it, or you want to? No, we're going to the wrestling. We're going to wrestling. That's good. All right. So let's. So Corey, he sent me this like a couple weeks ago. He sent me because you know WrestleMania came out. So rest. What was it? Bleach Report. Bleach Report. Bleach Report came out with their top ten. They came out with top fifty, but we're only going to talk about the top ten. Yeah, wrestlers of all time. And I'm gonna put it up. Oh, I might put. It, I'm gonna put it up right here. Top ten wrestlers of all time. I didn't see it yet, but Corey's gonna tell me right now. I am pissed about this. Yes, list. he's very angry. So. I was. I, I've been talking about this for weeks. And I want, I want, I didn't want to talk about him on the pod. I wanted to talk about it. He's like, no, save it for the pod. Yeah, that's why. That's why I, I wanted to talk about it because I was that mad about this. Yeah, but we're gonna talk about, it and then we're gonna give our top ten so, merger of top, wrestlers of all time. Bleacher Report top ten wrestlers of all time. Okay, let's hear it. Oh damn, I lost it. El host, El host. No, I, got, I got it back. Number ten, Hulk Hogan. Mm. Number nine. Roddy, Roddy Piper. Roddy Piper? Number eight, Shawn Michaels. That's Number kinda low. seven, The Rock. Ooh, that's very low. Number six, Bruno Sam Sam Martorino. Who the heck well, is that? Sam Martino. Who is that? Let me see. Is this a picture? I don't know who that guy is. Never heard of him. Number six? Who? Never heard of him. <laughs> six is crazy. I'm gonna be watching too. I'm not gonna say nothing. <laughs> it's alright, bro. They love. They love the number pop. five, John Cena. John number Cena. four, The Undertaker. Wow, Undertaker not top three. Number three, Randy Savage. Randy Savage. Let me see that picture. Let me see that picture. Randy Savage number three is crazy. Who made this list? Number two, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Okay. Number one, Bret the Hitman Hart. Bret Hart, okay. Bret Hart is top. Will be top twenty, fifteen. Number one, Bret Hart. No, Bret Hart is number one on this list. I don't remember a lot of. I mean, I feel like our lifetime, like what we grew up as, is like the peak of wrestling. Yes. So we nah, have nineties, nineties, twenties, nineties, two thousand. Yeah, I mean, 90, yeah, we 2000. was like two, two. I feel like two thousands to like the twenty tens, yeah. like nineteen ninety five to like two thousand eight. That was peak. That was peak of everything. Mm-hmm. But like. Bret Hart though. Bret Hart number one is nasty work. This is this Br- is why Bruno S- Sam Sam Martino. He had to have been like the first wrestler ever. But nasty work. Nah. Sorry, Roddy Piper at nine nine. Nasty work. Like you got Randy st- Savage at three. Is disgusting. Is dis nasty work. See now we are gonna we are gonna create our top ten WWE wrestlers of all time. People, let us know in the comments if we're bugging. Or if you guys like the list, hold on. I want to piss Darius off some more. Why? What other stuff? I'm gonna find. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna find the notable names of the top fifty. Hold on. All right, go just, ahead. I just scrolled past it. And how this is gonna work, fellas? Uh, people, is that I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do ten. He's gonna do nine, eight, okay, seven, so and we're gonna go 10. like that. I see top ten, so top fifty is not that far. Forty three, Jeff Hardy. Dang, forty three. Too low. That's way low. He should at least be top twenty. Thirty six, Batista. 27, Charlotte Flair. Who? Rick Flair's daughter. 27? Mm-hmm. Over all Batista? Time. I this didn't know he had a daughter. Way. Is she like new? She's been in the, in, in, I said, I'm about to say the league. She's been in the w, w, in WNBA. Oh, I'm about to beat this up. <laughs> She's been, she been in WNBA for like, maybe since we was like 2010s. Really? Number 24, Rick Flair. Rick Flair at 24 is crazy. Rick, t- Rick Flair at least top 10. Disgusting work. Rick he's at Flair. least top 10. Though. Woo! Number 21, Triple H. Oh, he's not even top. Triple H. Number 19, Randy Orton. Who made this list? Number 13, Roman Reigns. Number 11, Kurt Angle. Notable names in the top 50. Wow, that's really bad. Whoever so- made that list at Bleacher Report, do me a favor. Never make a list ever again. Just quit. Just and, quit. And yes. Let us take your job. Let, yes. let send us a job application because we're gonna do well in that. That was bad. Rain, bad Jeff Hardy almost out of the top fifty is crazy work, and Ric Flair's daughter is above him and Batista. That's, is crazy work. And I didn't even get to read the rest of the list. 
The rest of the list is probably worse. <laughs> yeah, it, it probably gets way worse. Oh my gosh, I didn't read fifty through. I just read that, and it pissed me off. Oh my! And his God. names on here that I did I didn't see. That's already pissing me off because. Why? Like, I don't want to talk about it. Sorry, right, bro. That's why we're going to create our own WWE wrestlers mm-hmm. top 10. And we're going to start. I'm going to start off first. I'm going to start with number 10. Number 10, I got Mick Foley. Mm, I like that. I Mick really Foley, number 10, bro. So you got number nine, Core. Number nine. Are you going off the top of the head? Yeah, I'm going top of the head. Okay, I'm not crazy. Even, I'm, no list. Gooks. I'm going to give Randy Orton number nine. Because he wasn't in. He was 19. Yeah, I think he's definitely a top 10 wrestler of all okay, time. Okay, okay. Randy Orton, number nine. Um, I'm gonna go. Eight. I'm gonna go Hulk Hogan. I like that. I'm go Hulk Hogan number eight. So seven. I'm gonna go Triple H. I had Triple H at seven also. Okay, nice. Who'd okay. you have at nine? Uh, Hulk Hogan. Oh. Okay. So number six. <sighs> I don't know if you gonna like this one, but I, he was one of my favorites. Okay. I have Edge. I like it. I don't think he's top ten, but yeah. I like it though. I'm, I'm not mad at it. He had a good run. I'm not. Ma- I'm really not mad at it. Okay, because I, I didn't really, realize. I didn't really realize how good his run was. It was. It, I'm not. I'm really not mad at it. Okay. I just wish it wasn't it was six. Six. Yeah. Uh yeah. I think six is a little too high. But, a little too high. But I'm not mad. I at think it. I might be a little recency biased. Like I was. Yeah. Okay. So number I'm doing five. number five. Yeah. Number five, I'm going to go uh you said you said edge. Number five. Cause I I I know who my top three I know who got who has to be in the top three. Mm-hmm. No doubt. I No, I know who has to be in the top four. So I'm about five? Yeah, five, yeah. I have to go Ric Flair then. Ric Flair at five? Because I know who okay. has to be in the top five. Okay, top okay, four. okay, okay. Okay, okay. There's the top four is is is, is you man know, like you can't mess up this top four. I don't care what order is in. You have to say these four names, these two names. <sighs> I don't know if I'm gonna get there. Oh my god, we missed one. I'm not gonna lie. We we got we we got we have to take. We we'll, we'll do that there. We'll do that there. We'll do that there. Missed one, bro. We're at four though. Okay, we're at four. four. Shawn Michaels. Oh, that was that's the one I said we missed. Okay, but I love Shawn Michaels. I love okay. Shawn Michaels. I had his DVD set. I used to watch it all the time, bro. So now somebody's no somebody's gonna cut out this top three. That's fine. That's fine. Three. Stone, I, Stone Cold Steve Austin. I was gonna say Stone Cold Steve Austin. Steve Austin no. at four. I'm not gonna. No, I'm lying. The Rock. The Rock at three. The Rock at three. Okay. So mm-hmm. we know who who's leaving. We got. Yeah, I know who's leaving, which is not deserved. Wait. I don't know who you're talking about who's leaving. It's oh, I'm not gonna lie. The, these top, these number two, one and two, like we can't mess these up. Bro. John Cena, number two. Oh my God, you did it. You didn't. You messed it up, bro. I messed it up. I messed it up, bro. Who you put at number one? All right, you you pick number one then. I I like you're supposed to say Stone Cold for number two, because Undertaker's number one. Undertaker is number one. Yeah. Undertaker's number one. John Cena, Stone Cold over John Cena. No, yeah, yeah. Really? Stone Cold over John Cena. So if I would redo a top ten, right? Yes, yes. I would do Undertaker one. Yeah. Stone Cold two. Rock number three. Yeah. Nah. John Cena not top three? John Cena number three. The Rock. The Rock number four. Shawn Michaels number five. Ric Ric Flair Flair, number six. six, Triple H seven. Seven. Uh, Randy Orton eight. Or Hulk Hogan eight. Randy Orton eight. Hulk Hogan nine. And then Mick Foley ten. No, we we messed up. I missed somebody out. I'm I I think I, I I'm like my list is kicking McFoley out. Okay, so who you put at ten? Who who do we missing somebody off our list? That Edge, was, Edge ten. Mm. That's my top ten of wrestlers, and that's just my personal opinion. It's my bias. If I would go down, like let's say I work for Bleacher Report, obviously I would articulate it and make a proper list. Cause like, that's not what y'all did, but my top ten wrestlers. Is that's my list? Yeah, because Bleach Report, Bleach Report did some BS with this list. I ain't gonna lie. But my favorite wrestler of all time is not even in the. We didn't even name the top. 10. Oh yeah, no, not me neither. Jeff Hardy, my favorite wrestler of all time. Really? I had a lot of weird wrestlers all the time. I had, I had like you know, phases. Yo, you know who? Like yo, a weird wrestler that I love though. Who? John Morrison, bro. Really? John, I, I ain't loved, mad at that. I love John Morrison. The slow mo, bro. Yeah. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. They, they like he had so much potential. And they, you know they, who they I love the advantage. most, bro? Mr. Kennedy. 
Mr. I used to love Mr. Kennedy. Kennedy. I used to love Mr. Kenny, RVD. Well, RVD was one of my favorites also. Um, uh, Edge, Edge was one of my favorites in the beginning. I hated Edge, but like, it's like it was like a love to hate Edge. It was like a love hate. I liked him before he turned evil. Nah, it was like a, it was like a, I hated him, but like I loved to hate him, like type, like you know, same yeah. with Randy Orton. I loved him, but I loved to hate him. Like I look, he liked Christian too. I only liked Christian because of Edge. Like if yeah. there wasn't no Edge, I don't think I would. I would like it's just like like like. I like Jeff Hardy, so I like Matt Hardy from Association. Yeah, but you know, I'm I'm gonna look at the top fifty, like top fifty. I wanna, cause I'm I'm not missing. Uh, Don't look at Bleach Report. Liz. No, no, I'm just gonna <laughs> Bleach Report. This is gonna get, make you mad. Matter of fact, I'm gonna look at Bleach Report. No, I just first. wanna, I just wanna look at it. I just wanna see who's in this list. That's just so I can mad. reminisce of like the the people. Big Show Fifty is crazy. Um, I just wanna see who's in this list that make, that's gonna make me mad. I just wanna see who's on this list that's gonna be like, dang, I've never seen them in so long. Like it's gonna make me like, oh my god. Big gosh. Show's Fifty. Lita, ooh, I like Lita. Um, Vader. Okay. I forgot about Vader. Dean Ambrose. Rob Van Dam. Bro. I'm not gonna love- lie. AJ Styles does not deserve to be in a WWE top fifty. He, Bro, he's freaking mid. He's a TNA top one. Yeah, he's freaking mid. Batista. Oh, like Asuka. Him. Asuka. Who? I don't know who that is. The Ultimate Warrior. I love the Ultimate Warrior. I love the Ultimate Warrior too. Booker T. Kofi Kingston. Um, where's Kane at? Kane thirty one. Dang. Sasha Banks. I'm not gonna lie. Like she ain't she ain't do enough to be in the top fifty. I don't really know a lot of the women people. Like the edge. I'm not gonna lie, like R.I.P. Owen Hart, but you don't deserve to be in the top fifty, bro. Cause cause you died, bro. Like, nah, I'm not gonna lie. That's nasty work. <sighs> Mr. Perfect. CM Punk over Triple H. I love CM Punk. I love CM Punk too. That's not the only reason tri- why I kinda like Pepsi. Not over Triple H. Not over Triple H though. Ultimate Warrior, I love Ultimate Warrior. Ricky the the Dragon Steamboat. Brock Lesnar over Eddie Guerrero? Brock, Brock Lesnar That's bad Over Eddie Guerrero But you know why They're doing that though Cause Recency bias Recency bias bro. But still the shriek Yeah recency bias bro Jake the Snake Being above I like Chris Jericho Being above Booker T You know why I love Mick Foley Like why I put him So high because he put his body on the line a lot. Yes, and I remember like he is Thinking like he was dead half of the time. Yes, <laughs> and like he was an embodiment of wrestling. Yeah, I like agree. if he if anybody was going all out, he I was agree. going all out. When he fell off the thing, on the under- I thought he died. You heard the Undertaker? He was like, "Yo, like I was I was hoping he moved." <laughs> Yo, <laughs> he was like, "I just want him to move." He used to have the blood and then he all over. Finished the match. Yes, bro. Lost the tooth. You seen the, the tooth went to his cheek. Yes, bro. Razor Ramon being thirty is actually nasty work, bro. It's all. Trish Stratus, oh my. Andre the Giant over Mick Foley. Like, when, remember, I remember. China, another one. Like, I understand she's dead, but, like, come on, bro. She's not top 50. It's just, it's Ray Charlotte Mysterio Flair, 12. not top 50. Seth Rollins, mm, I guess. Edge 25. Like, I'm not going to lie. It's just really, like, Ric Flair 24 is, like, the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, that's disgusting work. But, so your favorite wrestler. Becky Lynch? So your favorite wrestler of all time was who again? Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy? Oh, okay. Daniel Bryan. I love Daniel Bryan, bro. That's the, that's the black guy? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. No, he's not black. He's white. Uh, Triple H 21 is that. That's the worst thing I've ever seen in my life, though. He has to be top 10. Triple H 21? Him and Shawn Michaels is, is a package deal, bro. CM Punk. Eddie Guerrero. Actually, 18. wait. Did I say who my favorite play, my favorite wrestler was? I, okay. I think mine was Shawn Michaels. Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho is another one. He, when he came back. Yeah, I loved him when he came back. When he was cool. When he did that, damn, damn, yeah, you know, I remember those. McFoley days, fifteen, it's Andre the Giant fourteen. I'm not gonna lie. Some people put Andre the Giant in the, in the top ten. I won't be mad at it. I'm just really? not one of them. When we're range thirteen, I'm sorry, like you're not thirteen, bro. He's not that high. Nah, not yet. Top fifty. Top fifty. He's top fifty. Like forties. Rey Mysterio top twelve. That's Kurt cool. Ang- like I love Kurt Angle. Roman Reigns should not be over Randy Orton, no, Triple H, no. Edge, Batista, Batista. Like these are Jeff Hardy. These are these are legends. I know. You know what I realized also? I think I think freaking Batista was on steroids. Why do you say that? Because you look at him back then. You look at him now. I mean, he just. Oh. I mean, yeah, you can't <laughs> keep that muscle mass, but like, bro, his neck. I mean, look at Triple H. Oh, like his. his uh, oh. yeah, that's true. He used to be ripped, and then like a month later, he'd just be like the. <laughs> like, nah, but he, like, how big is Batista? 
He's like, like six four. I'm gonna say he's like he's tall. Like six. I didn't know he was that. Like I know and, the, the Rock is six six. Yeah, so he, I think he's not was, taller than the Rock. So like six five. Six six four six five. Because I, like I see when he was in Guardians of the Galaxy, I didn't think I thought he was like maybe like like he looks short. Yeah. Like or am I bugging? Nah, he didn't look short. In Guardians of the Galaxy, he looked, he looked bigger than Chris Pratt. Like he looked bigger than. Oh, he Pratt. does. Yeah. Okay, okay. I thought I'm you looking. Probably see him next to Groot or something. Yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. Groot. Because <laughs> like yo, when I seen when I seen freaking Batista coming, he had the the freaking chaps on the back and the neck, and he's like shoulders built, bro. That just was crazy. How did you figure out wrestling was fake? How did I figure out? Yeah. Um, I was watching a I was watching it one time, and I seen him punch, and they weren't hitting them hitting each other in the face. I found out live. Oh, like live watching it? Watching it like live. My mom got me like basically front row seats to like. You was at the Eisenhower Center? No, Madison Square Garden. Oh, dang. What was Madison, it for? My, my Monday Night Raw, I think. Oh, I'm pretty wow. sure it was Monday Night Raw. And I watched it. I watched Shawn Michaels super, super kick the dude and miss. So in my, in my head, I'm like, oh, he missed. He about to kick out. Yeah. He about to get up. Yeah. One, two, three. Who'd he fight? Oh, I forgot. How old are you? I was like ten. I was like nine. Yeah, nine it was ten. It was definitely after like SmackDown versus Raw, like two thousand eight. I was, yeah. That was the last like that was like my peak, and then I started like I bro. I used to watch, bro. I used to watch like Mexican I'm wrestling. Not gonna lie. I stopped watching maybe WB thirteen. That's when I stopped watching. I stopped. I stopped. I definitely stopped two thousand ten or eleven. No, WWE was it two K thirteen? Yeah. That year I stopped watching wrestling. Mm. It's just you know like I understand like the storyline is really great, but like. I feel like nowadays it's really hard to fake it because they're not really hitting each other. It's also more like with social media, everybody had like people have personalities now yeah, outside yeah. of wrestling. Yeah. Like when the when when that TV went off, I couldn't go find out what, what Undertaker, was, Undertaker doing. was doing. Yeah. What Randy yeah. Orton was doing. Yeah. I like when that like back then when that TV went off. Obviously, for people that. Like, it was older, new, like, okay. But, yeah. like... When you're younger, you... When you're younger, that Monday, going to Monday, you're like, yo, like, what's going... Like, you're in your head, you're, what's going on? Like, what's, like... And, you're, and, think, you're thinking they're living that life still. And, like, didn't they... They used to do things outside of the WWE. Mm -hmm. They used to do mad stuff. But, like, I don't know if they do that now. They probably don't. I don't know if they do that Like, now. it's not any... Something like that. But, like... The freaking Undertaker but, died. They had a whole funeral for Oh, time. yeah, but... It's true. I don't to say... I believe... I st I'm still gonna believe it. Cause I don't want to. I don't want to not believe it. Wow. That Kane and Undertaker were our brothers. Yeah, you, you can't tell me they're not. I know. Yeah, <laughs> can't they're tell big, me they're not. Yeah, I you can't to... tell me they're not. I'm not listening to it, bro. Yeah, bro. Like, but that's the, that's the mystique that they kept up. Like, you like, you couldn't go on. Like, I'm not gonna lie. You couldn't find a picture of Rey Mysterio without a mask. I know. I don't know what he looks like to this day. I mean, I know now because like you just Google it now. Like, I still don't know. But before, like Google wasn't like pulling up pictures that like that. Yeah, because yeah. there wasn't nothing there. But hey, bro. It's just it's just a new time, bro. I feel like there's a new generation of wrestlers where it's not like, you know, it's a little bit but easier. You know what you know what a wrestling is appeasing to now? The Logan Paul. Yeah. That's speeds. what I'm saying. It's a lot it's a lot easier to get into. That's what I'm saying. The speeds, the bar ball going on there. That's what wrestling is now. Like that's what the the audience, like wrestling mm -hmm. is gonna be more social media based now. Mm -hmm. Rather than mysterious, like like storyline. Mm -hmm. Characters like the, like when, when like when we was growing up, that's when May when, too much. When Mayweather fought the Big Show, we thought that jump was real. I thought that I thought he really knocked him out. Yeah, but like now it's like because you know if you put like Logan Paul back in the nineties when they was doing crazy, he's not doing that. No, no, he's not doing that at all. There's no way he's doing that. Mm -mm, no they, they was bugging out. Like they used to, they used to be so real, bro. But I, but that, uh, what's it called? WrestleMania was pretty cool this year though. I didn't watch it. I heard it was pretty cool. I heard it was pretty cool. I heard a mad, a mad people came out. I heard Undertaker came out again. Yeah. He needs to sit his old ass down. I know, bro. He's 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 making good money. He's enjoying his life. But just, just chill out, cuz. I don't want you. I don't want you. Croaking, yeah, I don't want bro. you hurting, bro. Like, yeah, croaking, bro. I don't want you. Yeah, bro. Just enjoy your life, man. But you got anything you want to talk about, Core? Um, Before we I, go into other subjects, I have I had I had something in our notes. You be looking at the notes when I be updating it. Uh, yeah, I be looking through it. Okay, that we did that today, bitch report. Uh, you want to talk about the freaking mannequin thing? Yo, yeah. Did you, did you heard about Balenciaga? So it was this dude that disappeared in what Paris, I think. Yeah, it was in. I think it was in Paris. Yeah. And like he disappeared, and like no, like no one knows anybody about his whereabouts. And I think he designed the original logo. 
Yeah. I might be wrong. I think he was, I think he was just like a Balen- I thought he was a Balenciaga just like model or whatever. Or maybe he was a Balenciaga model. Mm-hmm. I I I heard cuz I know y'all be in the comments roasting niggas for being in the wrong. Yeah. I heard that he like made the logo or something and they didn't want to give him credit for it or mm-hmm. something. Yeah. And then he disappeared. Mm. And then like what a couple months later there was a man there was a mannequin yeah for modeling for Balenciaga. And it looked just like a, identical to the dude that disappeared. Mm. And they was trying to like I know like they're trying to say like is Balenciaga like stuffing people? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because like this dude disappeared, and now it's a mannequin that looks just like this dude that disappeared. And is they're finding more people that are disappearing that are looking like the mannequins that Balenciaga are using in Paris. Really? So it's even more people. With yeah, the it's whole not Balenciaga. just that one dude. It's more people if you keep if you keep looking into it. Wow. See, like, people, if you don't know, like, like well, what Corey's talking about is, like, there was a Balenciaga freaking model or whatever that went missing, and now his body is currently, like, you know, it looks like a mannequin. But you know what I think? Imagine, right? Now imagine this, right? He go, they, imagine they, they take him out, right? Mm-hmm. And they're using, they didn't, he's not, they're not stuffing bodies, but they're, like, using it as, like, a, as, like, a sign to, like, don't mess with them. Like, think of, like, I forgot. There was a thing. I don't know what it was. I think it was. It was I mean, like, I think that's, the, I think that's the, that's what it, like, Sean, like, all right, yeah, like, keep, you fuck with us. Look what we're going to do to you. Yeah. It was like, I forgot what it was. I don't know if it was Hunger Games or it was a TV show where, or I think it was like an old cartoon where it was like somebody went missing and then like a, a figure of their body showed up in mm-hmm. the store and it was just like. Oh, it was like a, it's like a sign telling them like, yeah, we got this one. I forgot where it was. It was like a, I think it was like an episode like Courage of the Cowardly Dog or something like that. Yeah, I, don't know what you're I forgot, bro. I really, I got, I gotta remember. I don't know, but it was like they would take they would, like everybody that they take, they would turn them into like. I remember. I think it was Billy and Mandy. It was Billy and Mandy. That's a good show. Look, look. I don't remember so what that. they would do is so there, there was an episode of Billy and Mandy where. There was um there was a lady who lived in like a, a house by herself. Mm-hmm. And like whenever kids would like, you know, throw their toys over, the kids will go get it. And the lady would take the kids. And they said there was a thing that the, that said that the lady would feed the kids to her spiders. And then she would have scarecrows out in the field. And each scarecrow would look like the kid. Yeah. So that's why I was trying to say, like, that's what the probably Balenciaga is doing. Because as a sign to like, you know, either, you know, maybe mess with the world and like maybe create some little conspiracy around them because they're not gonna find no evidence on it so you think they're just big like they just the dude ironically went missing nothing with like related to Balenciaga, and then they just made the mannequin look like him as a like as a good thing i think you know i don't i think if if what you said was true i think they might have did pack them up Uh uh-huh and now they're just using it as like uh but it's not actually him yeah, it's not actually him. I don't think they're stuffing people like like uh-huh. uh, taxidermies. Yeah, I just think that's the word I was taxidermy. For. Taxidermy. There no, you go. but I think it's just like you know, like a symbol, symbol because you know symbolism is all over the world. Yeah, and you, you just have to know and understand what like symbols are being portrayed. And it's like you know, Balenciaga has been, was going through a lot of stuff, especially with the whole there was like a whole child scandal that was going in through like child abuse and like uh-huh. trafficking and things. So we don't know what Balenciaga is doing under under wraps or whatever on the on the behind the scenes they could be doing something really bad especially that they're one of the biggest high-end companies in the world that's sponsored by you know the quote-unquote illuminati of the world that they a lot of people wear so we don't know if they're possibly doing something because like you know i i like i kind of look at the world as like i feel like there's like symbolism for like everything Mm -hmm. so i feel like there's a little bit of like you know secret secret stuff that you know people don't know what's going on and that they show little things of it in the public to say that they're telling the public, but they're really not. You know what I mean? It's like, a, it's like, I forgot. There was something that uh, I was reading the other day. I can't remember what it was, but I know it's, it's just, it's, I feel like it's just a form of like business, bro. Not business, but like people always, people always do immoral, immoral things or non ethical things to get by in life. So, Hey, maybe they're doing something even worse than what we thought, bro. I hope not, bro. But I'm glad I'm glad you was talking about that, bro. Because I actually have something that we could do that covers a little bit about conspiracies. Okay. So I have rating conspiracies on celebrity deaths on whether they are true or not. I like that. So what are you gonna? So w- what we're gonna? W W host. That was cool. I like yeah. that one. Yeah. 
So, I don't know. Hold on. I don't know if y'all peeping. I've been trying to go uh huh and yes more. I mean less in my episodes because I've listened to my episodes and I sound like an idiot every time Dara says a word. I'm like uh huh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah, uh huh, uh-huh. yeah. So I'm trying to do that less, and I'm trying to talk in my regular tone of voice because when I speak up, like Master asks me to, <laughs> He's I sound like an idiot. People d- tell Corey in the comments that he sounds great, bro. I don't but, think I sound great. So I think I sound great now, maybe. <laughs> so how we're gonna do it is from a one, a one is it's not a conspiracy. Like the conspiracy is not true, and a ten is that like yeah, that's probably true. Okay. All right. So the first one we're starting off hot. Kobe okay. Bryant. Oh. Kobe Bryant. So the the conspiracy behind Kobe Bryant is they're saying that Big Pharma killed Kobe Bryant because he was suing them for putting opioids in like energy pills. So before, so I guess before Kobe died in that plane, uh, that helicopter crash, mm-hmm. he had he sued a company that stole his Black Mamba name. Yeah, and it was a Black Mamba. It was a company that was creating like energy pills. Yeah, and he found out that that company was putting opioids in the pills so it could be more addictive, and stuff. And he was gonna bring it to court and tell the people, but it was like a big pharmaceutical company, and supposedly like one of his closest people that he worked with was like, f- uh investors in that pharmaceutical company yeah so people think that maybe they had him packed up and got him out of there like put him on like a faulty i think thing. that one is not true so where would you put that at one a one yeah i think that i'll i also think that's like a you know i put that like a i'll put that at a one also i feel like you know rp kobe man that hurt my heart i think that was just a freak accident i feel like it was a freak accident due to also. no I mean, i'm not gonna blame him but the the it was recommended that Kobe was not supposed to get on the helicopter. They told him, hey, it ain't the right time. Mm-hmm. Kobe was like, get me where I need to go. I think it was just a freak accident. Yeah. And RIP to to the Mamba. RIP Kobe, And GG bro. and everybody else on that plane. Okay, okay. So now, next one, Tupac. I think something behind that. So, supposedly, conspiracy is that P. Diddy set him up. P. Diddy set him up to get murdered because of all the beef that was going on with him and Big- Biggie. And he thought that Tupac was a threat with all that he was going on. You know what, what conspiracy I like better? What? That Suge Knight got him set up mm. because he was he wanted to leave Death Row and start his own label. His own label. Mm. And you can hear it. I, I know there's some conspiracies, but you can hear it in his music, like his last album that he was like kind of talking about it. Yeah. And Suge Knight was like, all right, I'm a, you're not going anywhere. I'm just going to kill you. Okay. And... That's why the like Shug, like Tupac got shot and mm-hmm. Suge Knight was untouched. Mm, Cause okay. that does make no sense. Yeah. And like I did see a picture before, like they said something about like the picture before, like he he got like like killed, like it was like him and uh, Suge in like a car, but like he didn't have like no key in the ignition or mm-hmm. something like that. But so what would you put that likeliness of that? I put that like I say like a four. A four? I say. Yeah. So you think Suge actually did? I think four for Suge, two for for Diddy. I think you know. I think, I think for Diddy, low key is like six, six, seven. Because I heard right. I thought the scale was one to five. No, one to ten. Oh. So what would you put yours at? I think, I think, Suge is an eight, mm-hmm. and Diddy is a, f- a four. Four. I think I'll say Suge. I'll say I say they're, I say they're both eight because I heard right. This is what I heard. I heard that P. Diddy paid off a guy, but that guy got somebody to kill Tupac. Uh-huh. So it was like a one, Fucking two. Did it. it was like a four party thing. So when P. Diddy, P. Diddy paid a million dollars to one guy to find a guy to kill Tupac. Yeah. And when he found that guy, the guy, so P. Diddy gave him a check for a million dollars, but the guy never gave it to the guy who murdered Tupac. So they said if, suppose they said if, he would have split the check with them. Yeah. They would have ran it right back to Diddy, somehow. I think Diddy's still murking dudes though, low key. I don't. I mean, I believe a lot of stuff about Diddy. Yeah. I don't think he's murking dudes. I think he's doing something else with dudes. Mm. Do your homework on Diddy. Don't do your homework on Diddy. Um, Marilyn Monroe. I don't know the conspiracy behind. Wow. So, so this is actually kind of wild. So supposedly, Marilyn, you know Marilyn Monroe, right? Mm-hmm. One of America's Sweethearts and stuff. She passed away in like the 60s due to an overdose, right? But supposedly, it was because she was having an affair with JFK. 
the president at the time, and he was married. He they was having an affair, and I guess JFK leaked some stuff to her about I don't know. They're talking about. They said she was gonna have a press conference of what JFK told her about the the crash at in New Mexico, how they there was there the government is covering up the UFO crash in Roswell, New Mexico, and she was gonna have a whole press conference about that. She called his brother and everything, said him like, "Yeah, we're gonna do this, that, and the third, and I'm gonna talk to the people about it." And then she mysteriously overdosed on drugs. And what was even crazier is that when she when they found her body, lights, nice. Yeah, no, my fault. <laughs> Trying what, not to blink. <laughs> what's even crazier? Is that when she passed away, you know, they take the body to the morgue, right? Mm-hmm. They lost her body for six hours. Like, their, her body didn't make it to the morgue until six hours later. And the morgue was only like 45 minutes away. So, freaking what they seen was, so they thought it was like being tampered with, right? Because they seen, they seen her body. And, you know, when they, supposedly when they, uh, you know, when they uh, die of uh, drug overdose, they, you can see it in the stomach. Yeah. The doctors said that there was nothing in her stomach. Like, it was like somebody either, it, like, dissolved really quickly. Because usually you could probably find it in their stomach quick. They didn't find nothing in their stomach. They said she had, like, bruises on her face. and But they thought it was just something because she fell on her face and it was, like, decomposing, went all the way down to her face. And even the doctor said, like, it was it felt like it wasn't suicidal. Like, it felt like it was, like, planned or something like that. I give that an 8. You give that an 8? I, I, give, that. That a, I give it, like, a cool, like, 6, 7. Just because I'll give it a cool 6, 7 because I'm not really... Knowing the Marilyn Monroe, I really didn't know all about her. I don't too know much. enough about it either, but I it's I based off the factual information, mm-hmm. I'm gonna go eight. Okay, okay. Now, Michael Jackson. Ten. Ten? Yep. You think they murdered him? They got Mike out of here. Because he had too much power with the Sony things and everything like that? Mm-hmm. They got Mike out of here. Okay. Bro. I think I believe that also. I think Michael Jack I just think you know, I feel like, especially before he died, they was pinning so much stuff on him, mm-hmm. saying like he was like a child. Like they was predator. trying to get him. They were trying to get him in, in every way possible. Yeah, and he was. And just, finally, was like, you know what? We're just gonna kill him. <laughs> exactly. They was just like, you know, let's just make let's just croak. It's over, bro. And I don't know because it's like they just, especially since they found like he was he owned half of Sony. They they said it was worth that was worth two billion dollars. Just half of it. And just imagine back then. Yeah. Two probably, billion back then. That's probably like OD now. That's probably like 15 bill, bro. $15 billion now, bro. If anything. So I think they packed up Michael Jackson, bro. I don't think that was just like an overdose. You know nah, what I'm saying? Yeah, they, they got Mike out of here. Next and one. I seen his autopsy too. Fucked up. I know, bro. Next one is uh, Aaliyah. I don't think. I don't think. I think I'd give that a one. You give that a one? You yeah. think that was just a freak accident of a yeah, plane crash? Yeah, I think that was a freak accident and negligence to not knowing that you're not supposed to overpack a plane mm-hmm. of that size. Mm. So I, I, I give that a one. I don't think that was, I don't think that was a anything foul play. I think you know I give it a six, mainly because I seen this interview recently that says supposedly that Aaliyah was set up to die on that plane by yeah. Jay Z and P Diddy because. At the time, Aaliyah was up. You know, she was like the the above everybody else. She was like the top of the tops. But I think Jay Z and P Diddy. You know how they are in like some shady stuff. I guess they wanted her to do certain things and say certain things, but she wasn't going by none of that. And I guess supposedly Jay Z did something to pack her up out of here so that they can rise up Beyonce at mm-hmm. the time. And at, oh. so they was trying to get her out of here. Because I guess maybe maybe Aaliyah didn't want to be with Jay Z. Maybe Aaliyah didn't like Jay Z or what he did or wanted to sign with his label. He said, I bet we're going to kill you. And we got we got your perfect replacement right here, Beyonce. And I'll look at Beyonce. Because that was supposed to be Aaliyah low key. I like the theory. Mm hmm. Still saying one. Still saying one? Yeah. I got you. Good theory, though. Good theory. Because I know a lot of people, there was like the girl she was talking I about. I think Beyonce would have been Beyonce no matter who was alive. Because even Mary J. Blige was saying, she was like, yeah, bro. Even Aaliyah didn't feel safe going on that airplane. Before she went on it. And then Mary J. Blige was saying, like, when she died, like, she, like, sobered up and she had to, like, you know, focus because there's really people in this industry that can really pack you up at any time. So she had to really, like, pay attention because it's, like, they never know, like, if they don't... If, I believe that. I believe, I believe like, they... It's, they people, get, it's people in this industry that have power to be, like... Get out of here? Get out of Get them out. But that's crazy. I, th- I look at thought Leah died in, like, a fire. Nah, that was... Uh, Nah, that was left eye started a fire, and that's not how she died though. But she like burnt the house down before she died. Who left eye? 
Oh. From don't do peace and waterfalls. Just stick to the rivers and the lakes that you used to. Dang, that's tough. Damn, man. And then the last one is Bruce Lee. Do you know Bruce? Di- did he die from a food allergy? Oh wow, I thought he died from a punch. Nope, <laughs> he died from food allergy. What was the allergy? I think he was like, I think he was like drinking something or drinking water, and he was allergic to something in it. Oh. Uh. I give that like a nine, low key. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think Bruce Lee getting out of here like that, bro. Exactly. I think that's a nine. You know who I think it was? I think it was the triads. I don't even know what that is. You know, no tri- you know what? It was them. You know what? Rush Hour. Yeah. You don't remember who was chasing after them? I don't remember their names. No, but the triads is like the the Chinese, the biggest Chinese gang in the world, bro. And then they got Bruce Lee out of here. Yeah. I don't think Bruce Lee dying like that. And I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I think I think the triads did it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but you don't remember in freaking. You watch all the Rush Hour, right? Mm-hmm. You remember in Rush Hour where the the, the girl had yeah. the baldy and the thing on her head? She, she was fine. With it. Yeah, that that was the triads that put that on her head. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, that's like it's like the cartel of China, basically. Oh, okay. But like, a little, I give that like a nine. I will give it. I got I got two. So that was your last one. Yeah, I'll, I'll give that one an eight, just because at the time Bruce Lee was mad was up, and I feel like you know the Chinese wanted to take advantage of him because there wasn't a lot of like you know famous people from China mm-hmm. at the time and he didn't want to listen and he's like you know what now you're done but so, who's two one mm-hmm. Easy E Easy E mm-hmm. what do you think about Easy E bro do you, you think he you think he like just got the, A's by by fucking I mean I would think so I don't think so I think Shug Knight Shug Knight uh, injected him with AIDS you think so first He's none of his kids have AIDS or HIV. Yeah, yeah. yeah. None of his kids, have, none of his kids have HIV. Yeah. His wife doesn't have HIV. Nobody that he's ever slept with had HIV. No one that anybody that he's affiliated with sexually, or like, like you know, has HIV. Really. And then, kind of admitted it on the talk show. <laughs> he was like, he was like, you got this new thing. Shook Knight said this. He's like, got this new thing. You come out where. You get the blood of somebody with HIV, and then you inject, you inject them with it. Wow! And that's a slow death. It's an easy E death. He said that's that. That's what Shug Knight said in an interview with Conan, I think, or Jet or Letterman. Wow! Back in like the nineties, he was like, you get the blood of somebody with AIDS, and you inject somebody, and you inject them with the with the with the syringe with AIDS, and that's a slow death. And we call that an easy E death. So when do you think he did it? I, I mean, if you want to go based off the movies, or I mean, I when think, he jumped them, yeah, when he jumped them, probably. But like, I don't know when he did it. But like, I think eventually, Suge Knight got easy. Wow, bro! And injected him with with AIDS. I hope you know. I don't hope this. Actually, I do. I hope this is be so tough. When Suge Knight passed away, I hope he put like, uh, like everything he did in like a in like a book and like threw it in the middle. You of You think like, when OJ died, he said, "I did it." Before he died, Hell yeah, because you know they had this. Everybody in the hospital had to sign NDAs. Oh yeah, to go see him. Mm-hmm. I think he was telling everybody, well, "I did that shit." Oh yeah, he definitely did. <laughs> Yo, hold on. Did you know this? What? So Ron Goldman and damn, that's bad. I don't know this girl's name. Who? The, the wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's her name? I have no clue. Nicole. Is that her name? Yeah, Nicole, Nicole, Nicole. I think I'm. Forty percent. If I gotta tell the story, I gotta say it. Say the name right. I gotta yeah. say the name right. Look, look what you did, people. You bullied us into being right. Sorry, like why'd y'all do that? Nicole. That's crazy. Dang, Suge Knight. Nicole Brown Simpson. You was right. Nicole Brown. Mm-hmm. Did you know that their handyman was a serial killer? Who? Their handyman, like their 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 maintenance man, their mechanic, whatever. Yeah. He was in ser- he was a serial killer. Really? That killed over seventy women. You're lying. Swear to God. OJ Simpson's handyman. No, Nicole Brown Simpson's handyman. Was a serial killer. Was a serial killer. killer. What was his name? You find his name. Wow, that's actually kind of sick. I'm not going to lie. That's OD, bro. He was a serial killer, bro? Glenn Edward Roger. What? He was a serial killer? Did they know why he was the handyman or he was just doing undercover? He was a serial killer on the low. Wow, bro. And... Like, after everything blew over, like, he got arrested for killing other people. But, ironically, mm-hmm. he was Nicole Brown Simpson's handyman. Wow. So, mate, what if he killed her? That's, what, that's, that's the theories that people are saying now. How no one ever talks about 
now that o, now that OJ's dead, people want to talk about it, but no one want to talk about while he was alive. That they literally their handyman was a killer. serial a serial killer. He killed over seventy people. Wow. So on on the low, what if OJ knew that? What if he? I think OJ knew and hired him. Oh, and set it up like that. Yeah. Oh, that would be. I don't great. think OJ's innocent, but I think OJ knew he was the serial killer and was like, "Yo, kill both of them." Wow, because what? What? How did he kill him anyways? Or suppose stab him to death? Just stab him to death? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's kind of brutal. Like, like, a, like a dude. We black. We don't yeah, like don't, stabbing. Yeah, I don't we think just OJ, get the gun. I don't think OJ did that. Oh, wow. but no one ever talks about how her handyman was a serial killer. His name was John. No, Glenn. Glenn Rogers, Glenn Edward Rogers. I forget. Wow, I forget his uh his serial killer name. He was like the something, the something slasher or something. Wow, bro. You know what's crazy? I got a serial killer story just for you, bro. I I didn't, didn't want to bring this out yet because I didn't know how to tie it into like what the topics we were talking about. But I'm glad you the were- cross. His name was the cross country killer, the Casanova killer, Glenn Edward Rogers. And he died on death row. Wow, that's crazy work, bro. But I'm glad you was talking about serial killers because now I have I have a great story to tell you, bro. So, right, I have this is one of the craziest encounters with a serial killer that somebody has ever talked about. Look, right? Oh no, go ahead. Over seventy people. He killed over seventy people. Yep, he killed. And over that was people. her. That was her. Her go to guy to fix things. So what if what if what if well, what if OJ broke something in the crib, and he was like yo, and then he told the wife yo call the handyman and go fix it, and, and then he, he came, came and in murked him. and murked him. We might have cooked up. We might have just solved the whole case. I'm just saying we I, I know who did it. Hey bro, don't get us. We didn't sign no NDAs, OJ. It ain't our fault. But yeah, yo. So I got the this is the one of the craziest encounters I've seen somebody have with a serial killer, right? Mm-hmm. So. I'm gonna paint the picture for you, right? I heard this from a from a podcast, and one of my one of the YouTube I always listen to is named Mr. Ballin. I always talk about it on the podcast. So shout out Mr. Ballin. Shout out Mr. Ballin, Ballin, bro. If you want to be on the podcast, pull up. But I love your stories. But so he was talking about a story where so there was a story where it was a couple in Utah, right? Their names would not be pronounced because I guess like at the time they don't want their names to be told. So they was on their first date, right? So they was on their first date. They was talking at a diner or whatever. You know, this then conversing, but it was kind of awkward. But then the guy randomly said, he's like, yo, let's go to these woods real quick. You know, let's go to the woods and just like, you know, hang out and stuff and talk. Idiot. But it gets crazy. So the girl was like, you know, OK, I'll go. I'll go. It's nothing, nothing too crazy. So they go into the woods. It's like a I forgot what the woods. I forgot what the national park was named, but it was like a national park in Utah. And freaking. So they're there. They parked up and they start talking. And then the date gets a lot better. So they start conversing, they start laughing, they start getting to know each other more, and then they start going to the woods. But there's like a trail. There's always a trail. So they were going down the trail, and, you know, it's getting a little dark, and then they start feeling a little uneasy, like something's watching them. But they don't know what it is. So they just ignore it. But they, there's, this is their, remember, this is their first date. So they don't want to just, like, scare one another. So they're just, like, holding it in, like, how uneasy they feel. Until once they get a little bit further in, like, you know, I feel a little weird. Like, can we turn around? He's like, okay. But, like, they're walking, and as they're walking, they hear something rustling in the bushes. And then it was like, they turned, and I was like, what is that? And then the guy, he's walking, and he steps on something, and it was kind of, like, soft. But he didn't, he never looks down. And he was like, you know what? Let's just turn around and go back. So they turn around and go back, right? All right? Ten years later, they're married, happily married now. They're together. They're watching on the news, and they're looking at an inmate on death row, a serial killer. It's Ted Bundy. And mm. Ted Bundy, you know, he's he's doing his little um, interviews or whatever. And the guy asked him, he was like, yo, so you, you murdered so many people. Has there ever been a time where you almost got caught? So he was like, yeah, there was a time where I almost got caught by, the, by this couple in the woods. He said that he just killed, he just killed a woman and he was going to bury her body in that same woods until that same couple came across them. And he said he was like two to three feet away from them. And he said, if they would have seen me, I would have to kill. I would have had to have killed them right on the spot. He said they stepped on the body and everything. But he said, if they would have walked a little bit closer and looked into the bush and see me, he would have to kill them right on the spot. 
And then the couple looked. They was like, "Yo, that was us." That was us. Oh my god! And they went to the news and was like, "Yo, that was us." Like we, like he almost, they almost died. They was like, in another lifetime, in another multiverse, they and they looked. Seen them. They would have seen. They croaked. They dead, bro. But imagine, bro. Not gonna lie, if I would have seen, I would have. I'm like, I'm not gonna lie, I ain't saying nothing, bro. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you don't got to kill me, bro. I ain't. I ain't you just gonna bro. act like you ain't see nothing. I ain't see nothing, bro. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy but he not gonna believe you cuz he not but I'm gonna I'm like yo bro bro first of all he can't beat me he not beat me either I'm 10 but he's dead I'm gonna say you see what's up bro I can act like I didn't see this and we can both walk away if you or, wanna kill me you're gonna die that's what I'm saying or you can try to kill me and you're gonna die bro like, so what you wanna do bro that's what I'm saying he little as hell too but like I, when I seen that and I and I looked up but there was like a study they said you like in your lifetime you walk past 33 serial killers not murderers Serial killers. I mean, you, you walk past a million people like in your lifetime. You probably walk past a, close to a hundred million people. Exactly. Nah, maybe like maybe like twenty million. Without making eye contact or nothing, mm-hmm. you probably drove past somebody that was driving with a body, with a in body there. in the trunk. Yeah, and never knew. I always think about that all the time when I drive past them. We drive with them little next to those little white vans and stuff. Or you could have been. Driving somebody that had a bunch of children and that like, you don't know, like you really don't know. That's crazy, bro. How the world really is, bro. There's really some sick people in this world. But when I heard that story, it gave me chills, bro. Because imagine that was imagine that was us if we went adventuring, bro. What the hell we doing? First of all, Tim Bundy would be stupid because we know we don't go with two people. I know we don't. We, we go got, deep. We got we got five people in them <laughs> we woods, go bro. Deep, bro. And we all we all we got Tyrone. We we might have Pierre next time. That's yeah, what I'm saying, he bro. getting stomped on. That's what I'm saying, Ted. But what you really want to do, Ted, bro? Like we could act like we didn't see this, or you could get stomped on, bro. What you really want to? That's do, what I'm bro? saying. But hey, if y'all don't know, we I'm just, lying. If it's all if it's seven of us, we we telling, we telling, we not acting like we didn't see this. Oh yeah, no, we got. If tell. it's just me. What you want to do, bro? That's <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying. Because, yo, I ain't going to lie. I was watching a video, and it was like a bunch of kids. They were just walking through the woods, you know, just chilling, like adventuring and stuff. It was late at night, and they hear a scream. And they was like, the heck is that? And in the corner, it's like maybe 20 yards to their left, there was like a circle, and it was like a mm-hmm. colt. And then a girl came out, tall, tall woman came out with the axe and was chasing them out. And if it wasn't for the cop, there was a cop that was like, on patrol, like by the woods, yeah. and they call for the cop. They arrested the girl. I'm like, bro, imagine we see that. What are we doing? Nothing. Like, I'm not helping them. No, man. What what what, what are we doing? You know what I'm saying, or like, we we we're, we're the one that's uh, witnessing it. Yes, or we're witnessing. I'm not helping them. No, we're, we're running, right? Yeah, or we're fighting that woman with the axe. I'm talking about like let's like we're, they're chasing the baby with the axe is chasing us. Yes. Oh yeah, she's getting his hands. Okay, but like what they swing and hit, nigga. What you got? No, I'm not going to run That's I'm what I'm saying. Gonna, the axe is running. crazy. I'm not. She's not catching me. Bro. Axe is crazy. She's not catching me. And then if she do, I got to be so tacked with the. Whew. I know. <laughs> like, that's what. <laughs> like, you really got to do some command. And that's it's dark. Saying. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. She's not catching me. Yeah, we've been, we've been doing a lot of crazy stuff. A lot more crazy stuff coming on Adventures with Idiots, bro. Did I tell you? I, I probably said this on an earlier pod. Like, what? one of my first ones. The Ed Kemper story. With what? No. So, it's a serial killer named Ed Kemper. Basically, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm summarizing it. He hated his mom. Yeah. And he was killing like college students because his mom was a professor. Yeah. And he was killing college students because he hated his mom so much and that she gave attention to her students more than she did to him. Yeah. That he was just killing students. Really? And side like backtrack, he killed her he killed the, her her parents when he was like a kid. Like he was like seven, eight. He killed he his- he shot them with a shotgun. He killed he killed his grandparents. And so, he he didn't go to jail for that? I mean, he went to like juvie, mental. He like, killed both of his. Dr- he killed both of his get, uh, grandparents. Wow. Ed Kemper killed both. He's like six nine, bro. Big oh, ass. that's the big he, dude. Yeah, he's like he's like he's like Leonard but white. Wow. So for me, he got he got cleared up, got cleared normal after killing his grandparents when he was like seven. Mm-hmm. So now like he hates his mom so much. So he picked. So he killed. But he killed like maybe like seven eight girls. Mm-hmm. He's finally driving. He's about to kill this one girl. And he was like. You know what? It ends here. I don't really. I'm, I'm not mad at you. I'm mad at somebody else. And he spares her life. He's about to kill her. He spares her life, and he goes to the crib and he and he's waiting. He walks in, and he's go. He he's giving his mom one last chance. He's like, he, he walks in the house and his mom goes, "Oh, I'm assuming you want to talk all night. Look at you, my big, my big doofus son. Good for nothing. You're the reason why I haven't had sex in seven seven years." 
because of you, my murderous son. And he looked at her. He was like, okay. Went downstairs, came back up, cut the bitch head off. Wow. And fucked her mouth. Oh. And said, and said, now you've had sex. That's OD. You didn't tell me that. <laughs> he fucked her mouth, bro. He fucked her mouth. He cut her head off and fucked her mouth. And was like, did he get the death penalty? Yes. Okay, I'm about to say he had said to. he said now you've had no. Actually, I think he's still alive. Wow. I'm ninety percent sure he's still alive. So, do you think that's a mental illness? No. Well, him, I, I yes, I think it is, but I think he just had. I don't know what it is. I just know he had so deep. I think it's like an opposite of Oedipus, Oedipus complex mm -hmm. that he hated his mom so much that he didn't know where to direct this. He did direct it, to and him. he never. I don't think he he ever processed like mentally he never got because afterwards he called her friend over and did the same thing to the friend what killed her yeah i like, called her best friend over like yo like like come over my mom needs you and then he did the same thing to the best friend wow. and then he called the cops and was like yeah i did it and then every cop that spoke to him like said how intelligent he was he wasn't an idiot yeah he was smart he's smart as fuck so i don't think i don't think so, like their ability to learn Mm -hmm. Obviously not tampered because these people are smart. Yeah, I think it's like a social cue. It's like I think it's like I don't want to like attack them, but like I think it's like almost like a form of autism. Yeah, probably. Where it's like they don't feel certain certain emotions. What's that? What's that called? That's called like they have sociopath, sociopath. Literally sociopath, psychopath. Yeah, literally yeah. sociopath. Yeah. Like it's you know what I think it is also I think it's also like like you said I feel like it's. Like, it has to be, like, their environment, bro. Like, I feel like you could create a killer by accident. Yeah, I, feel, I believe that. And I, feel, I know it's like, you know, sometimes I don't think you could really be born a killer. I feel like that's why maybe some kids aren't supposed to be playing certain games when they're younger. Because, you know, they might think that's, like, normal. And they're not supposed to be out doing certain things. And I can understand why, like, when I was a kid, my parents wouldn't let me play Call of Duty at certain times. Because, you know, mm -hmm. they don't, they're afraid it might happen to me. Yeah. Because during that time, that's when all the Ted Bunnies, they might think... They might think that me playing like Call of Duty or like games like this would make me think like killing is normal. Yeah. Which I guess it makes sense. But I know I heard a I heard a I talked about that on the podcast like maybe like a year or two ago. There was a scientist that did a study. He was trying to he was doing a study on like uh the mental capacity of serial killers. Mm -hmm. And you know, he was a professor, so he did like a analysis on all his students. Like he took all their brain waves or whatever, and he found out one person had the same thing matched up with a serial killer. So he was trying to find out that person. And that person was him. Oh. It was his own brain. But he started... And he was like, wait. I'm not no... Serious. Like, I would never kill nobody. But he, he backtracked. And he was like, you know what? Let me think. Let me look at what I do. He was like, he don't really smile too much. He don't really, like, show a lot of emotions. And he doesn't really, like... Like, even his wife says, like, he's not a bad guy. But he doesn't... He's not an emotional person. Like, he don't yeah. really, like smile he don't really laugh at things too much like he's really probably a little serious a little bit he might get a little angry here and there but like that's just how he is like he's not a murderer like he's not a killer but that's just how he is so they're trying to like connect like certain cues like you said like social cues to like maybe that's what maybe some people have like a little bit more or it's a little bit like further down the line to where it's like certain things might make them go off yeah so i don't know like it's just that's it's crazy to think that you could be walking past somebody that's either a serial killer or is on the verge of I'm a serial say, killer. Or like or a future one. Yeah, a future like, one. Like, right, you never like, know. About 10 years, you about to kill 20 people. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. Like, like especially, like, even, even like, not even serial killers, but people that kill people in general. Like, there's people mm. that I've been, I've been in high school with that, <laughs> now I'm not friends with, but I know they kill people. Mm -hmm. Like, but it's just like. Or think about it. Like, I, 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 they call King Vaughn the mm -hmm. first, the world's first rapper serial killer. Yeah. If he, if everything is true, he killed about maybe around seven people. Mm. Why is he not classified as a serial killer? What is what is the classification? Is it? I think. What's the classification of serial killer? Is like a certain amount of people you gotta kill? I don't know. No, I don't. I I, I don't think you just like why aren't gang members serial classified serial killer? Like, yeah. Why aren't drug dealers that kill people serial killers? Like mobsters and stuff too. Yeah, you you literally kill people. That's why it's probably it's probably definitely the mental capacity. Mm -hmm. They're probably just murderers. But like they're not serial killers because they probably have a conscience. These guys yeah. probably just they do. They, that's why they just don't understand uh -huh. social social skills. Serial they don't have those social just, just like oh I'm doing this because like I don't 
I don't feel good. I don't feel anything. And I feel like this is like like you know I don't have they don't they don't got morals. Yeah. But it's it's kind of sad to think. That's why you gotta really you gotta really watch who you hang out with people. You gotta see certain tendencies. I be seeing a lot of like people that we work at work. They look kind of crazy. But you know we try to you don't you don't jump to a conclusion. But you always gotta watch your back, bro. Cause you never know. It could be right at your door, bro. You might be dating one. Imagine you dating this. Mm. It's crazy work. Oh, that's crazy work. You do like you do something, they crash out. Now you're done. Yeah, now you're like, uh huh. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> like in uh, like uh, like in you. You remember watch? You ever watch you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, bro. That girl is nuts. Yeah. I heard she's gonna be a new Harley Quinn. Oh, really? Yeah, I think she'll be a good Harley Quinn. I think she'll be a great Harley Quinn. Yeah, that's good for her though. But why? Why, why are we placing Marco Robbie? Oh, I think they're recasting everybody. I think they, I think she's getting a little too old, mm. so they're trying to get a little younger. Ba- yeah. Basically, because you know DCU. DCU universe now. They need to start over. <laughs> oh yeah, no, they're gonna they're gonna recast a lot of people. They need to just like start like like start over from now, like scratch every other film they made, start over right now. Well, they got the dude from uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, so they're gonna James Gunn. Yeah, yeah. so they got a, they got a good uh, pathway. But all right, Core. Now I got another subject we can do. So last podcast we was doing rate uh we was rating cartoon baddies on a tier list. Mm. But now Corey was very sad that he wasn't part of that. So yeah. now, just for Corey, we're gonna do blind raking cartoon baddies. I'm with it. I'm All right, I'm with it. I you got a couple people they left off that list. You feel me? That I'm just saying, man. You got you got lock in with this one, brother. All right. All right. So number so first one up, Lola Bunny. Lola Bunny. So what is top five? Top five. Yep. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go five because she's an animal, and I'm thinking you're gonna. I'm thinking you're gonna. You're gonna put some human, more humans on here. Okay. So I'm gonna just go five. Okay. Paulina from Danny Phantom. Oh, I don't know who you're talking about too. That girl with the. Mm-hmm. I don't know who you said. I'm gonna go number. I think you got somebody in store for. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go three. Say I'm gonna get three. Three. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Damn, I, I, I fucked up. Okay. Toph. Who? Toph. Who is that? From Avatar. Which one is that? You know the the Earthbender, blind. Let me see. Let you never watch Avatar? Let me look her up. Yeah, I told you. I've been told you I never watch Avatar. Oh dang, that's <laughs> tough. He's you're missing out, buddy. <laughs> I've been told you I never watch Avatar. Now we're gonna now everybody bullying him in the comments. Yeah. Be like, why you didn't watch Avatar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, her. Yeah. She's a little girl. <laughs> yeah. Just think we're back then in our time mm-hmm. when watching. Four. Okay. Daphne from Scooby Number Doo. one. I I had a crush on Daphne my whole life, bro. Number one, bro. Number one. <laughs> number I've one. Always had a crush on Daphne, bro. Oh wow. Okay. And number five or next number one. Two. Last one is uh Kim Possible. Oh my god. Can I switch? Kim po- uh, I, I'm not gonna. Lie. I don't know. Who, I think I had a crush on Kim Possible more than I had a crush on. Uh, I used to have dreams about Kim Possible. What dreams you had? Like when I was like eight, obviously. But like I used to like. Kim Possible was like post like was my shorty, bro. Like, but like, was she human? I don't remember, bro. That's a good question, bro. <laughs> like, was you? That's this... a good question. I don't know if she was human, bro. This man was, but a like, I, like, and you know, her nickname was KP. Yeah, KP, bro. Wow, this guy was horny. Nah, Kim Possible was my forever. So you have Daphne one, Kim Possible two, Paulina three. Paulina three is crazy, bro. Paulina I'm not gonna lie, I'm taking I'm taking Daphne and Kim Possible over Paulina. You're crazy. Paulina's yeah. OD. And then Spanish. Nah, I'm take, I'm I'm keep, I'm go, I'm go I'm go with my top two. Top four over Lola Bunny. Yeah. I mean, I guess because she's a she is, animal. She is, she is an animal. So okay, makes sense. You're saved. You're saved. All right, we have an, I have another one for you, brother. I'm with it. Keep keep it coming. Pause. So blind ranking number two, of blind ranking for cartoon baddies part two, Miss Incredible. <sighs> Man, I'm gonna go number two. Number two? Okay. You seen them yeeks? Lindsay from Total Drama Island. Which, that's the blonde that's one, That's the right? blonde one, yep. Damn, why you didn't give me Heather, bro? <laughs> I was going to put Heather number one. Nah, Lindsay. Lindsay, I'll give her, I'll give her a calm four. Four? I think you're, throwing, I think you're going to throw somebody at me. Okay. I'm, I'm saving five because you're going to give me another animal. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Blackfire. Blackfire from uh Raven's sister? No, Starfire sister. Star, Starfire sister. Oh my Oh that they they they, they they that's the that's where you get the your type from, bro. Like that's what like cartoons like really you do. Model. Like that's the she go build. Like 
I'm gonna give her a three. Three? I, I I think you're saving somebody for one. Okay, okay. All right, Sam from Danny Phantom. That's the golf girl, right? Yeah. Dang, I want I, I like Blackfire more than I like. I know it's an animal in here. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna give her number one. There's an animal in here, bro. I know it is. And number the last one is a uh, Minnie Mouse. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I knew he was baiting me, bro. Minnie Mouse number five. Bro. Okay, so this list was a lot better. You have Sam one, Miss Incredible two, Blackfire three, Lindsay four. I'll put Blackfire at number one. I put yeah. Blackfire one, Miss Incredible two, Sam three, Lindsay four, Minnie Mouse five. Yeah, I'll, I'll, Blackfire. Yeah. Yeah, I'll I'll do that raking too if I had to Black, properly rake it. Black, Blackfire was fire, bro. Oh my gosh. Blackfire. I'm surprised you didn't put Miss Fanny on, on that? this list from, from from robots. You're disgusting. <laughs> from my teenage robot? No, from robots, the movie Robots. The robot? Yeah, Miss Fanny. She was a robot? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. I don't even put no freaking robots on here. <laughs> You're weird. All right, I have a question for you. So someone someone is offering us five hundred million dollar grand pies if we to win a game show. Which game show are we choosing? So me and you're gonna play. It's either Wipeout, Survivor, Naked and Afraid, or Fear Factor. Oh, I thought I got the pick like my, like the game. I'm about to say Family Feud. I really, but no. So Wipeout, Wipeout, F Survivor, Naked and Afraid, or Fear Factor. So Survivor and Naked and Afraid is kind of the same. But you got to think about it, though. Survi Survivor is a little bit more tactical with your mind. But, like, Fear Factor, we're not doing that. Not doing Fear Factor. Wipeout, I don't think we can make that. Can we train? I don't think you can even train for that. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm not doing Naked and Afraid. I'm, I think the our best chance is Naked and Afraid, I'm not bro. doing... Yo, first of all, I don't want to be naked with you. <laughs> Why not? For 21 days, bro. That's nothing. If you get meted up, I'm beating you up. What you mean? You heard me. Sometimes I, you don't, you wake up with the Woody. Sometimes. Yeah, I'm gonna beat you up. For what? You gonna do the same thing? <laughs> 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 look at him. Look at him now. You know he would. Yeah, you beat me up. I got. I, I, whoever gonna beat up, beat up who first? But I, I'm not gonna lie. Like, it, like even with naked and afraid. Like once I see a ro like a roach or like a, a beetle crawl him, it's over. But I'm gonna quit. Bro. But like, okay, maybe we could do survivor. All right, survivor then. But like, that's the thing though. Can me and you be likable and not a target at the same time? Because we could be likable guys, but at the same time, people gonna look yeah. at us like, look at these two lights can do. Let's get them. Let's get them out of uh -huh. here. And are we gonna like? That's what I'm afraid of. Make you it sure? afraid. You just gotta survive 21 you days sure naked. We can't do wipeout, bro. I don't think so, bro. I really don't. Fear factor is out the question. No, nah, I'm not even not gonna try. Doing, fear not factor. doing free for fear factor. I'm not touching no bugs. I, I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna get put into a car and they send me in under the water. I'm not doing that. Oh, no. That's what you're scared of. I'm not going into that tank of spiders or roaches that they be doing. Yeah, no, I ain't doing. I'm not putting no scorpions on my face. I'm cool off that. But yeah, no, I think naked and afraid is the only is Loki the easiest one, bro. We just got. It's not easy. Naked and afraid of survivor is one of those two. I think we could do Wipeout, bro. You think so? There's no way. You no, know, the only thing I don't think, the balls, bro. That's, what, that's exactly the what I was going to say. Bro. The bouncy balls, pause, we is not finishing that. There's no, I don't know how anybody even survived that far. I think we could, I think Like, we could those do it, guys be training for years, Core. I know. We, what, we get a month? We're not going to do nothing? That's not going to do nothing. I think... I think we just have to do Survivor, bro. Do Survivor, okay. Yeah. Survivor, because night. like, we got, we got, we got to get our own food. We got to, like, that's just, that's mad work. That's too much. Bro. At least Survivor, we got to just... make, make our own. Like, I play art, but like, film, like, <laughs> it's easy in art. Man's a freaking dork, yo. All right, so we can pick Survivor. Yeah, we'll right, pick bet, Survivor. Bet, bet. All right, I got a question for you, right? So, for one billion dollars, which challenge are you doing? But you have infinite lives, so whichever one you do. You have to finish it in order to get out and to get the billion dollars. Mm -hmm. And I have a bunch of these. Survive a week in the Amazon or survive a month out at sea? A week in the Amazon. A week in the Amazon? <sighs> the water, oh, the ocean, bro, out at sea? Yeah, that's kind of bad. I was going to but Amazon got. Was got, you, you on a raft? I give you a boat, like a little dinghy. And I got like. like I give you a gallon of water. That's it. Yeah, Galway. Yeah, give it. me the Amazon, bro. I'll take the Amazon too, but I ain't gonna lie, we're gonna die a lot. 
Yeah. We're gonna die a lot. We're gonna revive a lot. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. That's not gonna that's not gonna I think good. the ocean I'm never gonna survive. Yeah, I think, thirty days, I'm gonna go crazy. I think we're gonna just keep unless I just <laughs> for thirty days. <laughs> just act loopy. Yeah. I just think I just think, you know, the Amazon I'm just afraid of there's people in the Amazon that we don't know. I know. I'm afraid I'm not even afraid of the animals. I'm afraid we walk in and we just see a a, <laughs> a, a blow dart or a freaking spear go shink right past our faces. Like I'm sorry. <laughs> and then now we're eating. But I think we got the Amazon. Okay, okay. Survive a Squid Games like game show or survive the escape room type show? Like the escape room, the, the movie. movie. Yep. Squid Games or Escape Room? Which one would you rather mm. do for a billion dollars? You know, I signed up for uh the Squid, Squid Game? Game number two, the, the, the second season. Really? I signed up for it. I should sign up for that too, low key. With do, the do, it before, do it before it, it expires. When it, I'll, I'll do it later today. I'm gonna do it later I'm, I, 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 I mean, I, they obviously didn't get back to me yet, but yeah. <laughs> I signed up for it though. I bet I'm gonna do it because Jay was telling me about that before. That's hard. Squid Games or, or Escape Room. I'm gonna do Squid Games. Squid Games. I'm not. I'm not good at like the escape rooms. Yeah, like I'm finding not, the challenge. I'm, yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm not tack, bro. I'm not gonna get them, bro. Yeah, I get I'd you. rather try to win the games than like having to think. Yeah, and having like figure out puzzles and stuff. Yeah, that's smart. I think I'm gonna take Squid Games too because like I didn't. I forgot. Especially that girl in the in the movie. She's like she was too tough with it, but yeah. I'm not. I'm gonna die a million times. That's what I'm saying. Like there was. Like, I'm gonna just give up. Like all right, whatever. Especially <laughs> it's like. You know, I'm pretty good at it now. I'm pretty good at escape rooms and finding stuff. But like, when my life is on the line and like I'm gonna die like a terrible death, yeah, no. I don't want that. At least, in, at least in Squid Games, it's like you know, I probably just like croak on some like a bullet. That's what I'm saying. You, know, you get shot and start over. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. All right, run across the entire USA solo or climb to the top of Mount Everest with a tour guide. Forrest Gump did the USA. I think I'm I'm doing I'm running across America. I'm, I'm, I'm running across America. There's no way I'm I'm going. I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a crowd behind me. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna get people to join me. I'm gonna get a film crew, a helicopter to, to follow me around. Yep, that sounds and great. I'm just gonna be Amer- I'm just gonna be America's story. Okay. Yeah, I'm mm-hmm. gonna do that. I think if I take that, if I go up Mount Everest, I'm not gonna survive. I'm not. I'm not yeah, I'm not surviving. I'm not Everest. finishing that. There's no way. Okay. And it takes more than one day. Like this takes like a like a couple months to finish, right? I mean, yeah. If we were if we're running across America, it might take us like what two weeks. That's fine, but like I'm gonna be warm. It's gonna, wait, it's gonna take way more than two weeks to run across America. Yeah, but <laughs> I'm gonna be warm. Yeah, but yeah, I'm taking. I'm running across America. Okay, okay. Come out fit too. Type shit, type shit. All right, next one. Wrestle two baby brown bears or one kangaroo to the death. The brown baby brown the baby brown bears. You're crazy. What? Have you seen a king a grown kangaroo? A can, grown kangaroo. Two brown bears? It's two a ba- baby. Okay, but they're okay. I'm talking maybe not, I'm not talking about like little infants. I'm talking about like they're two years old. They're not babies. <laughs> At that point, they're very big as hell. Okay, one. <laughs> so, yeah, never mind. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take the one kangaroo then. <laughs> okay, what if it's ten baby grizzly bears? Ten baby? Yeah, ten baby like cubs. Yes. The cubs. You're taking ten cubs? Yeah. No, you're crazy. Oh, one kangaroo, yes. You're bugging. I'm taking ten baby cubs. Yeah. They're still like about this big, Corey. Yeah, but they're not they're not aggressive up here. Okay, but what if they are aggressive? That you didn't say that. Oh, you're just gonna let them just there's gonna be a little cuddly little thing? Yeah, but I still think I could nah you one you're not yeah, nah, one kangaroo is max, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, what if the bears are trying to attack you? Like they're trying to bite at you. You can still take on ten bears? Nah. You nah. gonna you I'm gonna fight the, the kangaroo. All right, bro. Kangaroo's light, bro. It's not light. Don't do that. Kangaroo's not light. And they kick you, they have a nail on the bottom of their foot when they kick you. That will that, that they try to kill you with. And they try to drown you too. I'm gonna drown him. No, you're not. Watch have I you seen him. a kangaroo? I have. How tall are they? Standing up on the on the I don't know, but they'd like this. As long as I don't care. I'm like this too. No, you're not. Not like him. He looks like Did you ever see that video? That, that one dude he had the he had the, the, the dog? The dog and yeah. then the dude started boxing with him. Mm-hmm. And he just stood there and was like I seen I seen the one where he had the dog in the water. Oh yeah, yeah, I seen that he one. Just too. Had, he just like, you can't let go of my dog. He's just like He's gonna drown the dog. Yeah. Man, I'll beat that little kangaroo up, bro. That's what they want you to do. They want you to come in the water. So and do they have so do kangaroo kangaroos run around Australia like like deer? I I don't know. That's a good question. Like Aussies, it, tell us. Yeah, let it, if you're from Australia, put it in the comments. Also, if you're from Australia, is the is the hoop snake real? Is that real? Is that is that folklore? Or is that real? Put it in the comments so Corey can like enjoy his life. Thank you. All right, last one. 
is endure hell week in the U.S. Navy SEAL training or mm. one actual battle in Vietnam? Which one are you going to try to do? Try to finish. Damn. I'm low-key going to take the battle. I'm I'm gonna, decide, I think I want to do the battle. I'm not going to lie, but Vietnam was terrible, bro. It was. We said one battle. Yeah, one battle. But that battle might last like hours. I might do the battle, bro. Like, if, what if they, st- if they start coming out the ground, bro? They come, there's tunnels on the ground. They come like, out. You said I get to respawn. <laughs> they do, but like still, that's crazy work. Yeah. I think that's I'm, scary as hell. I think I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to treat like Call of Duty, bro. I mean, I guess. Imagine, imagine you finally about to, you about to get, ex, you about to get um, extracted, and then the freaking napalm strike hits you. Gotta you start over. Now you gotta start over. Now <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> because Hell Week is OD. Like you yeah. don't sleep that whole week. Yeah, I heard nah, is you, you're up like. I think I'm gonna do the battle. You gonna do the battle? Battle and um. That's not bad. I'm a, I'm a destroy the white, Viet Congs. I know white dudes in the grocery store that uh, that survived it. Yeah, but they have PSD, PTSD now. Yeah. I know. Uh, so I'm not gonna have PTSD after. It's his grandfather has PTSD from it. From Nam. Yeah, and he smoked mad weed. Shit, crazy, right? Yeah, it's crazy work. But now I got one last thing before we end the podcast because Libby's looking at me. She wants to go to sleep. Sorry, Libby. Libby, don't tell mom. Mom, if you're watching this, I love you. I'm sorry, <laughs> but it's all Corey's fault. Blame Corey. Don't hurt me. You can blame me. It's all the way my fault. Okay. So last thing is. Can we survive the world's worst world, world records if it was for our lives? Okay. All right? So it's the longest time in an elevator, which is seven days. Can you be stuck in an elevator for seven days? Like no food, no water? No food, no water. I don't think I want to. No. You wouldn't do it? I wouldn't do it. So you don't think you could survive it? This is for your life? I mean, yeah, it's for my life. I think I could survive 11 days, but I don't want to. Okay. So what if I say... What if I do... These challenges are for a million dollars. Yeah, I could do it. All right, so you would do I'm it. I'm gonna go crazy though. So you do. So you stay in the elevator for a million dollars. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. All right. So people are gonna change it up now. So instead of survive, surviving these world records, surviving the world's worst records, surviving the world's worst mm. world you're records. Ti- you tired too? For a million dollars. So the next one. Is covered in tarantulas in a bathtub, which is 125 nope, tarantulas. Nope, nope, You're crazy, nope, Core. Nope, for a million dollars? Nope, nope, nope. Corey, nope, nope, that's like, nope, 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 bro, he was in there for 10 seconds. Nope, 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 nope. Bro, nope, nope, suck nope, it up. Nope, 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 nope. Sorry, can't do it. Nope. Suck fu- it up. You fried me. You fried me. You cook. Bro, you it, cook. he was only in there for like 10, 15 seconds. Nope. You still not doing it? Mm-mm. Crazy. A million dollars, sign me up. I'm in there, bro. Give me a pair of goggles oh and God. some underwear. I could just feel it on me right now. Hell no, I'm not doing it, bro. I'm only just dump, just dump them real quick. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, That's too long. four Mississippi, That's too long. five Mississippi, six Mississippi, taking too long. seven Mississippi, eight I died Mississippi, already. nine Mississippi, I had a heart attack. ten Mississippi. I had a heart attack. It's over. Like lock in, bro. This is for bread. You will never see a million dollars before that. I'm good. All right, all right. The longest time buried alive. I do it. Ten oh. days. <laughs> About to say you're crazy. 10 days in a box. No water, very little water. No air. No, nah, there's a, they, they give it. they give you oxygen. They'll pump oxygen down there, but there's no food. I'll do it. I just it's 10 you're days, cr- 10 days of napping. You're crazy. Just, 10 days? Just sleep for 10 days. Bro, imagine. That's from now to what? Next to next next Sunday? Yeah. You're in a box like this. You can't move. Ooh, I can't move. That's what I'm saying. You class claustrophobic as as hell, bro. I'm not doing no, that. I'm not doing it. I'm lying. Crazy. Nah. Longest time spent in ice. An hour and fifty three minutes. I could I could mess up every I could mess up some stuff. For a million dollars though? Like an ice bath? It's like an ice bath, but just but with no water. Just ice. I'd do it. I could do I it. I could try. I can do it. That's not bad. That's not too bad. And then last one is the longest time in a dark in a dark soundless room. Seventy two hours. I could do it. Nah, I don't I don't think I could do that, bro. Because think about it. it. After, they say after a couple hours, like nine, ten hours, you start hallucinating. Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna come you, out eventually, bro. That's a that's a battle with your mind. Now you they people say they hallucinate, they see things, they're fighting against their biggest fears. I'm afraid of the dark. What the hell about to be in the dark? Imagine what's about to pop up in the dark. That's fine. I can fight. I can fight. I can fight. Whatever. Bro, imagine I'm hallucinating. I can, I can fight my mind. Maybe like I for seventy two. So three days. I can do it. For a million dollars. I don't think I'm doing that. I'm I too might scared. Come out, I might come out and need some therapy. Bro, yeah. 
You're not gonna come out the same. You gonna come out your eyes gonna be like this. Well, come on, I'm like, yo, that shit was trippy. <laughs> no, I ain't doing that, bro. You know the, you know the, like, I no, I just, I just feel like I'm gonna see things. Something's gonna yoke me happened, up. What happened to the? Uh, what the 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 the, the, the fifteen dollar. What are you talking about? We talked off his Oh, yeah, no, I decided not to do that one. I Sorry. I was too happy? Yeah, he was too excited. Corey wanted to do this freaky stuff, and now nah, I'm not doing that. No, you you wanted to brought it up. I did, but I thought it would be cool, but I'm trying to be family-friendly for this podcast. And we already talked about a lot of stuff in the beginning of the podcast. We'll save it for another episode. Save it for another episode. Maybe on Patreon. You never know. Follow us on Patreon. You got anything else you want to tell us, Corey? No, nah, man. Man, uh, happy birthday to my mama. Shout out, uh, Miss Corey. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Shout out to my favorite 12 year old on the planet. Your sister. Oh, I'm like, what are you talking about? Where are you going with that? For but, staying up with us and, you know? Uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Libby, again. And thank y'all again for tuning in to another episode of No Regulars Podcast, yes. episode number two. I was going to say two. Just, episode number 137. He didn't even remember. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. If you like the video, all I ask is for one like, you know what I'm like, saying? One like, one subscribe. One like, one subscribe. One post notification. One send it to a friend. You know what I'm saying? One comment. And yo, TikTok, man. we heard TikTok might be getting banned. Yo, y'all watching on TikTok. Y'all need to come over and come to our other platforms. We have good we have good content. That's what I'm saying. We're, and I know we've been saying this for the longest time, but we're really going to do it this time. Join the Discord. We're going to revamp the Discord. We're going to be more active in the Discord. Mm-hmm. We're going to be... We're gonna be. We're gonna do better. Yeah, we have to do better. Join the. We already be in the Discord on the weekend. We do we play games. You actually, you could, you could. You, it doesn't take nothing. You can actually just sit there and listen to us talk and play the game. Yeah, you can comment and do all the good stuff. We can start doing more activities in the Discord, and yeah, like just just fuck with us, man. We cool peoples, man. Mm-hmm. We yeah. cool as biscuits. Yeah, you know I'm <laughs> cool as biscuits. Like he said, follow us. On, join us on Discord. Follow us on Patreon if you guys want some exclusive content. We got a lot more content coming every single month. But I need at least 15 followers. You know what I'm saying? I need at least 15 subscriptions. We will drop episode. We'll drop part two of the last episode. Follow us on Twitch. Follow, us, follow the gaming channel. Yep. We're gaming every weekend. We're playing our viewers this Sunday. Sometimes we Pull even up. game during the week, bro. Like, exactly. You feel me? We be, we be gaming, bro. We're going to be gaming a lot more, especially since I got I'm, my first Madden win yesterday. Yeah, Fuck if y'all don't know, me, Corey bro. sucks at Madden. I got my first one yesterday, bro. But we're going to be playing a lot more games because I'm going to be out of school. I'm graduating this year. Shout out to me. Uh, Tyrone's going to be out of school. So we're going to be gaming and doing a lot more content and stuff. Adventure Vlog Episode 2. We just recorded it. We all, I, don't, I don't know if y'all know where we're at, but the real ones, if you follow us on Instagram, you might know where we're at. That's but, facts. You should know where we're at if you follow us on Instagram. Yep. But if you, like I said, sh- oh, and one last shout, shout out to Sir Nucci again for sponsoring us on this podcast and giving us some Sir tough Nucci. merch. Sir Nucci, thank you again. Like I said, UK based brand. No, that's uh, your heart. Some good quality t shirts. You know what I'm saying? They got they some got great long designs. sleeves. You got some long sleeves? Yeah, don't worry, bro. We got, they got way more stuff. Their merch, their new drop is coming soon. I don't know when the, per- when the date is, but I think it probably either dropped already or is dropping maybe in a week. So tune into them. Sir Nucci on Instagram and on TikTok. Thank and you Sir Nucci, again. just to let you know, this is not my normal, you feel me? I did this for y'all, bro. You feel me? I wear hoodies on here. I, ho- I hoodie up. Yes, sir. Maybe dro- next time you can get I a dropped, hoodie. I dropped the, I, I switched the swag up for y'all because this shit is actually hard and people need to buy it because this is good merch. I dropped the swag for y'all, man. Appreciate y'all, man. But thank you again. We different than regular, no regulars, man. Gangsta. Gangsta. Gangsta.